Hello. <coughs> Welcome. Just waiting for people to show up so we can start chatting. So who's here? Oh, hi, Travis. How are you? Guess if I'd read my chat, I know who was here. What's you in your happy place? A picture? I don't even know what your picture is. It's so small. Let me see. I'm getting a few people to trickle in here. Welcome. Okay, Travis. <laughs> Oh, Josh, I've got chronic sinus problems, and I just did a sinus rinse on my nose, so I'm sniffing a bunch. Welcome to those that just came in. Just waiting for people to come in so we can get a conversation going. So Josh, what have you been up to today? Welcome to those that just came in. 
the little most innocent one. It is 1.05 p.m. here. Hey, Cindy. Drop a link in the chat. If anybody wants to come up on panel, just know you got to show your face and I'll have you do an action so I know it's you. Well, Travis, I'm eating as healthy as I possibly can for my budget. So, <laughs> <clears throat> I've had chronic sinus problems for 20 years. So, oh, infected implant, that's no fun. Yeah, I eat as healthy as I can, Travis. I, I try anyway. So. Oops, hold on, Cindy. Let me see two. Cindy. There we go. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <coughs> Good afternoon. Hi, Nan. How are you? So, I need to tell you a funny story, Susan. Okay. So, growing up, as all parents do, you know, you have little sayings that you say to your kids and everything. Well, we never thought about it. it we would just say them. Like, I would call David Little Man Kate. Um, <clears throat> when I saw my brother-in-law and would, and would greet him, I'd go, what's a happening? Aha uh -huh stuff. Well, mm. now that he's older, he's realizing that these are either movies or sayings out of movies or um, song, you know, lyrics or something. And he's like, another piece of my childhood died today, mother. I found out this was in a song. You guys were never very inventive, were you? I said, we never said we were. So oh, funny. Okay, well, Donna, he, in a bit. Out. He just came out to tell me that <coughs> he found out, ooh, ah, uh, ooh, bing, bing, ooh, ah, uh, water, water, bing, bang. He goes, another part of my childhood died. Just as you came on, I'm like, I got to tell Susan. <laughs> I used to sing that song with my parents all the time. We used to sing it in the car. Funny. We actually had, um, do you remember when they came out with the Fun Rock albums? Um, no, I remember the series wow. of. Oh, you're breaking up. Oh, is this better? Oh, yeah, that's much better. Okay. But, uh, Fun Rock was a series of, I think, like six tapes that my parents got off of, I think, Time Life, you know, music or something like that. Yeah. And it had all sorts of, like, 50s and 60s music on it. And so all of the songs that my parents liked when they were in high school and just after high school they were able to introduce me and my brother to my brother couldn't care less, but I really liked it and learned it, learned it and sang it along with my parents in the car. My brother sat there with Metallica blaring on his headphones. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. So David doesn't think I'm very inventive. I'm like, I never said I was. <laughs> funny. So, and then when he found out Little Man Tate was an actual movie, you're calling me that bullheaded haircut little kid? <laughs> I, I just start calling you that. I don't know why. It just calmed down. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. How old is he now? He just turned 28 in November. Okay, so he's just like a year older than my son. Oh, yeah? 
Yeah, my son, I, I think, is 27, if I remember right. I know I have to stop and think. Yeah, because I know my daughter's 22, and when my after my son has his birthday in September, then he's five years older than her. He's like four and a half years older than her. So for six months, he's or five or six. Yeah, for six months, they're five years apart. So. So no funny, Travis. Hi, guys, and yeah. chat. Sorry, I just pulled up chat. Oh, okay. Ed, Josh, I did, I did hear that Molly Crew. They've got broken up and gotten back together a couple times now. So, have you seen what Vince Neil looks like lately? Holy crap! You forget, how old you, are. you forget how old you are until you see the bands that you grew up <laughs> listening to. Yep. Holy crap, <laughs> Vince Neil has gotten old and fat. <laughs> What's so funny because you have what was headliners back in my day. Now, like three or four of those bands are doing traveling tours. And you're like, wow, you can't even pull in a whole crowd unless you're all traveling together. Yep. Yep. Well, music has moved on. I mean, you know, the Rolling Stones can still fill stadiums. But bands like Poison and Motley Crue and, you know, stuff like that, they're, they're back to little clubs and bars and stuff unless they tour together. Yeah, it's... Well, it we had out, out here at our, at our casino venue, it was Journey, Kansas, and one other group. And I'm like, wow. If Air Supply ever toured again, I would go see them in a heartbeat. Oh, really? You really liked them, huh? Back when I was a senior in high school, um, I paid for my own ticket to go to the concert by myself. And I had like third row seats. Wow. I waited around backstage after the concert and it was hilarious because I've always been of the opinion that these people are just people like you and me. They don't want to be screamed at, they want to be screeched at. They want to be talked to like real people. And so I was backstage and also knowing fully well that the, that the two lead singers of Air Supply were gay, I wasn't about to go full on fangirl mode you know what i mean that just right you gotta think about that one and so i'm waiting backstage with a whole bunch of girls and some older women too the band comes out russell hitchcock and the other lead graham russell come out last and all these women behind me just bust out screeching and I'm just standing there going, oh, my God, I'm, like, holding my ears. And I moved over, way over to the side where there was, like, a couple of people getting autographs from the rest of the band. And I waited until the two lead singers kind of moved towards that direction, and I just kind of waved them down. And they came right over to me, and I shook their hands and told them how much I've enjoyed their music ever since I was, like, a little kid. and that, you know, I just was glad I was able to see him again. And I didn't even ask him for an autograph or anything. They asked me if I had anything I wanted signed. And I said, well, if you want to sign my shirt that I'm wearing, I would love that. And they pulled out Sharpies, signed my shirt, thanked me for not screaming at them, and gave me a hug and went into their bus. And these other women are like, how did you get a hug from them? And I'm like, because I didn't scream at them. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> so hey Nancy show me three there they are did you buy <laughs> Wi-Fi no I we're sitting still so I'm getting a very good connection right now so I thought I would come on just really fast before we start moving again and I lose my connection where are you so, 
Uh, we are um, just a uh, short ways away from uh, El Paso, Texas. Oh, okay. You look so. great, Nancy. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, my, this tells you how old I am. My first concert, I was in middle school. I went and saw, okay, nobody make fun of me, but it's okay if you laugh. Um, was David Cassidy the Partridge family. Oh, nice. <laughs> that was my so. very first concert. I used to have a David Cassidy and the Partridge family album when I was growing up. So anyway. <sighs> So funny, Travis. <laughs> oh. So did you get oh. any sleep last night, Nancy? No, I didn't get much sleep last night. <laughs> here and there. And I, I napped a little bit today, just a little tiny bit here and there. There's just too much commotion all the time going on. Yeah. So a lot of noise and yeah, it's just uh, and the train sways back and forth, and yeah, yeah, it's not it's not easy to sleep on a moving vehicle. <laughs> yep, I so. I took a train from Seattle to Texas and back, and on the way down there, we were like just on the edge of. Texas, just coming into Texas, and it was about 10 o'clock at night, and there was a guy sitting in the seat behind me. I had my 15-month-old son with me, yeah. and another guy on the, on, the tr on the car that I was on asked everybody really nicely if we minded if he played his guitar. Nobody said they minded. A bunch of us said, hey, yeah, we would love to hear it, so he pulled out his guitar and started playing. All of a sudden, the guy behind me started yelling really loud, if you don't shut that fucking noise off, I'm going to pull out my gun and shoot you. I have oh two of in my bag, and I'm oh going to So I very quietly, I waited about five minutes, very quietly grabbed my son, went up to the upstairs car, and got the conductor. I told him what was said and what happened. He, I, and then I went back downstairs and about 10 minutes later, the train came to a screeching halt really fast. Oh and boy. We were in the middle of absolutely nowhere. And all of a sudden there was cops like surrounding like our, the side of the train where you get off. Right. And they, the cops came onto the train, the conductor came down, they started escorting everybody that could go upstairs, upstairs, and they got other people, like, out of that side of the car, and they arrested the guy, went through his bags, found two guns, and pulled <gasps> them off the train. Wow. So, when we went back downstairs and the train started moving, him and all his stuff was off the train. Wow. Wow. Yep. So, well, that's good. Uh -huh. At least they got him before anything else happened. Could have been much they worse. They definitely pay attention to you. So. Well. Hi, Donna. Hey, Donna. Hi, Hi Donna. Hi, all. So, anyway. Your band Travis, I really, really love them. Yeah, and hello to everybody. Hello to everybody in chat. I can't see the chat. So if you're talking to me in chat, I can't see you. Let me see. We've got, um, hold on. we got Travis Kleinman, Josh Williams. Because if uh, I try to go, I have the choice for a chat button, but if I go into chat, I'll probably lose you. So <laughs> yeah, I'm going to do that. It says there's six people watching yeah. with you three and me and Travis and Josh. That would be right. sick. <laughs> Pretty much. Hmm. Jackie, yeah. 
Uh, you hear Anthony? <laughs> <laughs> What's Anthony doing? He is cleaning Max's kennel. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hi, Tony. Hi, Anthony. Hi, Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, he's feeling better today. Uh, that's good. So, oh, what Travis just said, he went to a see. He went to see Johnny Cash, and June Carter Cash was with a lady that asked her for her autograph, but she said, Miss Loretta Lynn, can I have your autograph? Wow. <laughs> uh, wow. Yeah. And then the lady asked her if she was famous, too. I didn't know who she was. My, uh, my daughter does. Um, she gets a chance to meet different bands and interview them and stuff. And she was uh, at a music festival and she was backstage and there was a guy there that like everybody else was talking about him. and she went out oh. to do an interview with him but she didn't know who he was at all and so she did this interview with him and found out like later who he was so susan i'm going to flip my my uh, camera around i'm going to show you what's outside my window okay okay, okay cindy so there it is there's a big old mountain over there. It's just all scrub, all dry land, all scrub. There's a track, but yeah. Oh, dead. It's pretty though. I mean, it's really pretty. And here's the train and everything. There's look at Donna. <laughs> there's your luggage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Definitely anyway. know which one is yours. So yeah. So. Yep, and I got my other luggage sitting down here. Here's my other my other bag. <laughs> so yeah, I just got done with lunch. Here's my lunch bag. <laughs> so and I got my got my coke sitting over here. So yeah, Good got enough. some grapes grapes I've been eating. So yeah, let me flip the camera. Oh. Donna, how yeah. Cindy ask it? I was gonna ask you how is Anthony doing? Is he feeling better? Yeah, he's doing a lot better. Right on. You just did too much yesterday. Yeah, I think that Ryan killed him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. How long, how long do you have to drive to get to the train station? About an hour. Okay. And then they and then they ended up waiting with me all that time. And my oh, train wow. was re was really delayed, and they I told them they could just drop me off and go home, but no, no, no. Nah. Nah. <laughs> Travis, she didn't tell me. I have no idea actually who it was. Or maybe she told me, and I forgot. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody I hadn't heard of. So, but we yeah. sat in San Antonio yeah. like for the longest time. Hmm. So, wait, can you get to all the So, I was actually surprised you were still in Texas. I figured you'd be out of Texas by now. Oh man, you should know it takes a long time to get out of Texas. <laughs> Texas is a big place, it's a land of no escape. <laughs> yeah, it takes like 24 Literally. hours to get out of Texas. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah. I tell you, it's the land of no return. <laughs> uh, once you get out of there, I'll never return there. I went there once, and that was enough. I had the worst experience in Texas. Right? I hate Texas. I hate it. There, well, when I was there with my son, he ended up having an asthma attack because the people that I was staying with wouldn't quit smoking in the house. Mm -hmm. And I had to take him into the hospital because his meds weren't working. 
and they kept wanting to give him the same medication that I had already double dosed him on, which would could have caused his heart to like over pump and it could have killed him. Right. And I kept telling him, no, you can't do that. Don't you know how to treat an asthma attack right. other than with those medications? I mean, I've taken him into the hospital in my hometown many times and they have alternative medications that work. Right. And they were like, well, this is always the first thing that we do. And I'm like, but I've already done that twice. Move on. And they refused. And yeah. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to take him and treat him myself. And if I get a bill from you guys, I'm going to be really pissed. Well, I didn't get a bill. My brother-in-law got the bill. I had put him down in my emergency contact and he got the bill. And so I told him, I said, you need to send that back with a letter explaining that you do not have a child named Sebastian, that you never went to Texas and you have no idea what this was about and right. send it back to him. He did. We never heard right. anything again. Cool. But yeah, it was, it was a little crazy. Hmm. That's cool, Travis. LL Cool J is an awesome guy. But anyway, yeah. So we're <laughs> we're just sitting we're just sitting like out in the middle of nowhere here, just just sitting here. I don't know what we're waiting on, but Josh, you're trying to try and I'm gonna stop. <laughs> you might be waiting on another train or two or three to go by on another line before you can get where you need to go. Yeah, well, we, well, we've been sitting here for just a little bit now, and there's been no trains coming, so I'm not been looking because yeah, I want to catch them if they do. But. You might not see the other train because they got to stop a way back. Yeah, it. Be, train. It may I already, I already, I, I already recorded one train while I've been on this, on this Amtrak. I caught it out the window right beside me during the day here, so I, I already. I'm going to title that one Real Fanning from the Amtrak train. <laughs> or they might have a problem up the train track. You don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know, but we're just sitting here. We're, we're just a short ways away from El Paso, so. Mm. Anyway. Well, funny hey, they might be having trouble up there. Yeah. I don't know. We connected. We saved another train. Over in San Antonio, we connected to another train and uh, another Amtrak. So we got somebody now behind my my car. And so we got other cars behind it now. So I don't I don't know. It was, it was called the Eagle. The Eagle Amtrak, they call it. Okay. That we have connected to us now. So, yeah, so yeah. even longer... You was the last one at first. If you go yeah. east out of Seattle and head over, um, I think you go over Snoqualmie Pass on the train. Um, when you get to eastern Washington, you connect to another train and it almost doubles the size of the train. Right. Well, this one is now very long. <laughs> hey, Paul. Hi, Hi Paul. Paul. So, anyway. She is in Texas, Paul. Mm hmm. Yeah, Paul, I'm, I'm just a short ways away from El Paso, Texas. There's the link if anybody wants. When they have at least you ain't on a bus. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> yep. Uh, Thank goodness for that. I still got the Greyhound that we saw. I still got the Greyhound that we saw. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> mm. Tell you what. Greyhound can just go, you know where. 
I'd rather take the flight any day. Yeah. <laughs> I always, I always appreciated the train, at least back years ago because on the bus you couldn't smoke unless you got out at a stop and then you had five minutes to real quick pop down a cigarette hop back on and then everybody smelled like smelled bad yeah back then when i was traveling they had a smoking car i don't know if they don't they don't but so what what live stream is anthony on now I have no idea. He's watching us now. <laughs> uh, uh, so. Come on, I'm mute. Anyway. Okay, folks. I'm going to, Susan, I'm going to jump off. Um, okay. I think I've. I think I may have irritated people on this car already. I don't want to irritate them further. So, anyway. All right, right. We'll see you guys later. Oh, yeah, see. Ron. Anthony, Anthony, hi. Run, run while I have one side get on. I see how you are. No, it's, I don't want to irritate people. I'm going to irritate people on this car. You, so. you, see, you see that? She loves them and leaves them. Uh, shut up. <laughs> uh, anyway, she good seeing you, Anthony. She treated me like a Clydesdale. She put me up wet and sweat. Oh, shut <laughs> up. Are you, you must be feeling better. I told you. Damn. Yeah. Okay. I tried to catch it while I was on the can stream last night, but it didn't work out too good, so I had to go lay down like quick. <laughs> right. Uh, well, I'm glad hey, you Gappa. did. Hi, Gappa. Hi, Gappa. Yep, I know he does 12 oh. hours. I don't think I could probably make it that long, but but yeah, Joshua keeps track of how long I do my live streams for. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So. Now you bring him. Oh, it's okay. It's an effort, but it's okay for right now. So, I'm pretty sore all over today. Well, yeah. So, I imagine not being able to lay down and relax. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So, where are you at now? Um, we're just a short ways away from El Paso, Texas. Uh -huh. Right now, they stopped. Yeah, we're stopped. At, we're kind of stopped in the middle of nowhere. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. <laughs> I mean, look at this, Anthony. I'll flip my camera. This is where we are. Oh, y'all waiting for the other train. Yep. We're I know, just. I know exactly where you at, too. <laughs> you got another train. Yeah. And y'all waiting it out. Yep. We're there. And then on the other side, you got. I, I can't really show you the other side, but yeah. Well, it looks like the other side is a little flatter. <laughs> yeah, and then if you look back there, it's what it looks like back there. Yeah. Uh, outside the window. So, yeah. yeah. Travis, I bet your dogs do go faster than Greyhound. <laughs> <laughs> I'm flipping the camera back. Yeah. Hey, well, Greyhound says they go everywhere you go, they're not lying. And then some. <laughs> yeah. They stop it everywhere. I have a hard time finding the right connections between where I live and like Seattle. Yeah. I mean, I can do it, but it, I think it's four or five transfers. Right. Yeah. Kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. But you got to realize, you know, I tell people buses will get you there, but you got to realize they stop at every little town, every little bus stop. I mean, sometimes bus stop be on the side of a desert road somewhere. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, it's 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 taking the bus takes twice as long as it should yeah. because you make all those little stops. I mean, Although, I've, been, I've been on Greyhound where they stop in front of a gas station. Looks like it's been closed for thirty years. <laughs> I I had the fast mm. like, trip down Snoqualmie Pass one time on yeah. a Greyhound bus because yeah. the bus. 
the transmission failed on the bus. Yeah. And he was coasting his brakes all the way down. And we had a police escort, and they were clearing all four lanes of Snoqualmie Pass just for the bus. Yeah. And there was cars parked on either side, and so he had plenty of room to make his turn. I've never been down that path so fast in all my life. Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I have interesting things happen when I travel. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's like a time I was riding with my buddy in his truck. He worked for North American Van Lines, and he was headed out of Arizona. No. He, uh, he was headed out of El Paso, Texas, going to uh, LA, Cal East LA, California. And we got on the grapevine. You know where I'm talking about there. Mm -hmm. Halfway down that vine there, his brakes overheated and he couldn't lock them up anymore. So he had to let them loose. And we made it by the hair of our freaking skin on our teeth. But the thing is, you know, I tell people the biggest problem wasn't the fact that the brakes overheated and we had to let them cool. It's the fact that people, you got to, when you have an 18 wheeler come behind you with hazards on and a horn freaking just nailing, get the hell out of the freaking way, man. We had actually people trying to jump in front of us because they thought, well, I'm not letting you cut. And I'm oh, like, what the hell? Yeah. And I looked at my buddy and I said, tag them. And we tagged seven of them on the way down. They got, they got the message. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, oh, yeah. Travis, I, I won't squish her. She, she likes to lay right behind me and cuddle. So. Yeah. Yeah. I told people that was the fastest I ever went down that highway. <laughs> yeah. Well, once again, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be stopped here waiting on this freight train. We could see the headlight over here on the east end. Uh, from the radio transmission, it sounds that they're getting along with that uh, inspection they're doing. Uh, hopefully, not doesn't take too much more time. Uh, but once again, we do see the headlights up here on the east end. Uh, hopefully, it clears up. Yeah. Yeah. Got the freight train, but there's a problem up ahead. They're, they're inspecting the track. Uh, I'll keep you updated. Thank you. Yeah. That yeah. was. That was um, his last name is Ramos. He's Mexican. He I met him last time I was on the train on the way over to yeah to you guys yeah, yeah so anyway he's a nice guy. Well, they all uh, seem to be. even that guy in Lake Charles when they had messed up on your ticket. He's like, we're gonna get you on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've seen your message where you said they ripped out two seats to make sure you got them. <laughs> so, yep, they did. Uh, yeah, so. Well, a lot better than what Greyhound tried to but do. Now, LA, now LA is going to cause me some problems, though, because now they're saying that because this train has been so delayed all the way through, the, the connection in LA that I may have to make, uh, well, hmm. Well, yeah. Well, that's the only problem with any delay. It messes everything else up. Mm -hmm. They ain't going to wait on your ass. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they're going to see what they can do. But, um, yeah, so I may be stuck in L.A. again. Yeah, but I guarantee you, if that happens, Amtrak will put you in a room. Period. Yeah. yeah. They, they ain't like Greyhound where they go, oh, good luck. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So... Yep. Uh, <laughs> but anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, this freight train is done with the inspection. It's going to get by us here momentarily. Okay. Uh, once again, they're done with their inspection. This freight train is going to get by us here in a few. Well, I'm going to go. Uh, I apologize on behalf of the Union Pacific Road. <laughs> She's got to go film. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, hell, while she was waiting for, hell, was she waiting for the train here? It was like four of them passed her. <laughs> and she caught one. It was a good one. It was a, it was like 11 minutes long. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Travis, Spike is curled up kind of behind my butt. 
sleeping. <laughs> yeah, he, he, he found a warm spot and hoping I got you don't fart. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, you know a dog, he'll just go amateur. Uh -huh. <laughs> a couple of years ago, I posted on Facebook that farting with a dog on your lap is a bonding experience for the dog. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you know, I always tell people, you know, you're doing good when you fart and your dog leaves. <laughs> <laughs> Or he walks out of the room, turns around, give you that look like I love you, but that's what that's pushing him, brother. <laughs> yep. Crash <coughs> 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 See all that all that wine and she just for me to get back in the house and she just goes and crashes. <laughs> Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I was sitting here last night on, on Ken's stream, man, and all of a sudden from the top of my forehead to my lip just went numb. Ooh. And I was like, eh, that ain't good. So I took my blood pressure and it was like 111 over. It was low. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, they spiked that medicine just a little too much. <laughs> 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 so then I had to take another one. And I was like, well, when I take that, it's lay down time. And I thought, yeah. well, I'll lay down for a little while and get back up. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, once I got comfortable, that that's all she wrote. <laughs> yep. Oh. Yeah, they, they changed one of my medicines on me, but they're trying to get everybody away from that metformin. Yeah. Only thing is, man, that other one. Yeah, it, yeah. She may. She says she may have to adjust the. Uh, you know the milligrams of it yeah she's gonna have to because she gave me a thousand milligrams of it man i took one of them yesterday and my blood count went from like 213 down to like 62 on one, on one pill and i'm like yeah that's that's low but that's a little too low <laughs> yeah that's not good but that's all right i got to eat me a shitload of chocolate before i laid down <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's a sad way to get to eat chocolate candy, but hey, it works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm supposed to get on that. Uh, they're supposed to be putting me on that. Uh, oh, I can't even pronounce the name of it now. You know, for the ones with uh, insulin uh, resistance for losing weight. Yeah. Yeah, because she says she wants me to at least lose about 60 pounds. Mm -hmm. At least. Because according to the charts, my height and my age and all that, I should weigh 175. And I looked at it and said, ma'am, I've never weighed 175 in my freaking life. <laughs> I was doing good at 200, you know. <laughs> I know all the, all the charts and doctors tell me that I should weigh like 116. And I've yeah. been... 125 and i because when i was really sick and i was positively skeletal at 125 yeah, yeah and so, it's gross looking it's gross looking to get below a certain i mean i'm sorry i don't care what their chart say sometimes the chart full of shit well if i had no tits and no hips 116 might work if i was built like a 12 year old schoolboy. yeah but i'm yeah. sorry i have big tits and and i have decent hips so 116 yeah. work for me. Yeah. Yeah, you look like a skeletor with added hips. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. It was it was bad when I was that skinny. So at 135 I look really healthy and and but thin, you know, like healthy thin. 
but that's really hard to maintain. Know, even, even when I came out of my coma, I was still at 220. Yeah. And I mean, I was eating through a tube. And you know, they don't feed you but what you need, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. That's so why I told that doctor, I see you, you know, you go ask when I see you. I didn't lose that much weight when I was in the ICU, you know, but uh, I lost some, but, you know, I was still around 220. And I told her I might have been around 170, 175 back when I was in junior, you know, junior high. Yeah. The only reason I was that size because I was, I was on track and I was on the football team. So, you know, yep. but I didn't have to do much on the football team because I was center. You know, yep. I, I handed the ball to the quarterback and nailed the son of a bitch in front of me. <laughs> Yeah. Hang on a second. Alexa, what's my notification? One new notification from Amazon Shopping. Two shipments have arrived, including Soda Stream Cola. Hmm. Let me go check my front door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you love the way they don't knock? Hmm. They do that shit to me all the time, man. Or they give that one and walk off. <laughs> I just happen to be by the door to hear it, and I open the door, and I'm like, "Really, dude?" <laughs> no, it must be in my mailbox. So, yeah, them little Soda Stream bottles ain't that big, so. Yeah, so, and I can't remember if there's two or four, but yeah. Is it my man around today? Is it, oh, that's right. It's Sunday. Never mind. I keep forgetting it's freaking Sunday. The way you talk, that was the kind of a stroke you had yesterday. No, it was my blood sugar bottomed out. I know. It's the kind of a stroke, too. Yeah, get out of here. That's what they doctor told me. Yeah, your doctor don't know shit. <laughs> How in the world could they have delivered anything if the mail isn't delivered on Sunday? Well, they do. They do. They, they do packages, not mail. Maybe like, they maybe they did the thing where they punched it in beforehand, and yeah. then they're going to deliver it in a couple minutes. Yeah, they won't deliver mail, mail, but packages on Sunday they will deliver. They do that here. If there's a package come to you and it comes to you on Sunday, they will show up, but it's you know far and few in between. You know. Yeah. Because I guarantee a lot of them probably get it for a Sunday delivery and they just hold it till Monday. You know, they're like, nah, I'm not making special trip to ass so till Monday. Exactly. I'm going to look and see how they. Yeah, but he might have put it in there just to cover his ass. Yeah. Well, UPS doesn't have access to the mailboxes. Uh, yeah. So, okay, it says your package was left near the front door or, part or porch, which means they actually punched it in and haven't come into the park yet to deliver it. So. Yeah. Okay. Hey, quit licking the, what is that? <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get a piece of candy from? <laughs> <laughs> So I'll just help him daddy find his lost candy. <laughs> yeah. It was a stick slit. She she had actually gotten all the color off of it, but uh, hadn't gotten down to the chocolate yet. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, Okay, I'll be right back. All right. Oh man. <laughs> And all that good stuff. We won't talk. We'll go, yeah, we're we'll go take a bath. We'll go take a bath. <laughs> no? Oh, okay. We'll go take a bath. No. Usually she wants to go. I know, but not today. It's probably sounds too cold, Daddy. <laughs>
Because she went, must have been a mailman at the door. Uh -huh. I drop her method. <laughs> oh, feeding her, feeding the runts and listening. <laughs> So I had to do that to a fair. <coughs> you talking about a job and a half? Feed it with an eyedropper. I had a ferret that I rescued that was sick that I had to feed with an eyedropper. Yeah. That, that yeah. thing. By the time it was better, I knew it was getting better because instead of just like letting me drip the stuff into its mouth, it was chewing the ends off my eyedroppers. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like uh, I had one named Flower. When I got her, they had missing, you know, mistreated her so bad. She was basically on the verge of dying because her body was eating itself. Because she hadn't eaten like, you know, they don't know how long, but it's been a while. And I actually had to take a tube, shove it down her mouth into her stomach, and then syringe it in. Yep. If you try to give it to her, she would just spit it back up. Yep. But she lived, though. She pulled through. Even the vet was like, he was surprised. <laughs> you know, he, yeah. he thought he was going to get a phone call from me a day to say, hey, don't send no more formula. She's dead. You know. But now, All right, Nancy. She popped up. And, yep, she popped up and did good and lived a whole 12 years, you know. Wow. Well, yeah. Ashley Flower is the mama to him. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, the beanie? No, not beanie. Maximilian. Oh. Oh, not Maximilian. Uh, yeah, other fair. The other fair, uh, Bandit. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, Max, we got him. Yeah, I got Max. I, I keep getting Bandit and Max confused. Oh. Bandit was the mama of uh, the son of Flower. That one I got from my. Uh, nephew, because he decided he wanted a ferret, paid six hundred dollars for it, counting the yeah, cage, and realized, you know, you can't keep him in a cage all the time. And he worked all the time. Well, it's not that. Even when he was at home, he didn't pay attention to it. And you don't want a ferret that's been trained to go feral because they they bite hard. Yeah. Hi, Roy. Hey, Roy. Because uh, when I first got him, he tried to bite. And, you know, I had to reteach him. Uh, I, I taught him like I taught Marley. The first time she tried to bite me, I picked her up, grabbed her, and bit right on the tip of her ear. <laughs> she ain't, hey, you can ask her wife, never bit at me again. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I drew blood. <laughs> well, I mean, cause I, people look, well, that's mean. I said, what do you think they do when they're trying to, to show who's dominant? And then look, I'm sorry. Yeah. When she, he bit him, the look she gave him. <laughs> oh, when I bit her, yeah. She gave me a look like, you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> hey, Cherokee. Hi, Cherokee. I did that one time with a Wattweiler. Freaked the guy out because he thought dog was going to turn around and eat my ass. I, I grabbed that dog and I grabbed his left ear and pulled it back to the right like that. And I, <laughs> <laughs> he fucking dog ran off and hit him in the tree. Hey, you are. Hey, you are. Dog didn't want nothing to do with me after I bit it. <laughs> but I tell you what, not only did he never try to bite me again, that water water wouldn't even growl at me. <laughs> Funny. Link is in the chat if anybody wants to come up. You're more than welcome. Just got to show me your face and do an action for me. Yeah, my friend thought I ruined his Wattwaller, but he noticed when other people try to come in the yard, she tried to eat them up. It just when I walked up, she was like, I said, because I showed her I'm the alpha. Yep. <laughs> Beanie uh, growled at me one time and I thought they did. Oh, yeah. He didn't growl at me no more. Yeah. Well, he had a bad habit, Beanie, when you got around his food when he was eating, he got aggressive real bad. Mm hmm. Hey, Eli. I was like, no, son, you ain't going to do that in here. <laughs> yeah. Ain't nobody going to bother you, you know. 
But I tell people, you know, even if you're not sure, you shouldn't mess with that when it's eating anyway. I mean, I, know, will, I will occasionally, when they're eating, just go up to them, pet them a little bit, reach down, yeah. pick up their food bowl, mess with their food, give it back to them. So, that way they know yeah. I'm the one in control of the food. Right. And they, they, I, the first time I did it to Chloe, she growled at me. I ignored yeah. her, messed with her food with my hands. So my smell got on her food. Yeah. Put it back down. She doesn't ever growl at me now. Spike yeah. growled at me the first time. Didn't do it again. Well, yeah, because you, you, you established the command chain. <laughs> like, yes, I'm going to take it away, but yes, I'm going to give it back to you. Yeah, so. yeah. Well, this is the old saying, teach them. This is the hand that feeds you. You don't want yep. to buy. <laughs> exactly. You want out? Yes, he probably does because he hasn't been out. Baby, you need to go out? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Want to go out? I'll be right back. Oh, come on, Sid. Come on. Come on, come on. Right on, Nancy. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Eli, do you want to come up? Yeah, Eli. Wait, give me cat. <laughs> The guy at the factory got happy on the vinegar on the corn husk. Ooh. What's that, Anthony? I bought a packet of corn husk. You know, for tomorrow. Oh, I thought you said something about porn hub. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, but people don't realize when they bag those, they're soaked in, in vinegar. That's to keep them from molding and mildewing and getting black crap all over them, you know. But usually it's not that bad. These, the package I bought this time when I opened up, the vinegar just freaking hammered you, man. So must, must have been that 430 on a Friday batch. You know, they just dumped the fucking vinegar and left. Because <laughs> when I opened the bag, I was like, so I had to soak them, and then I rinsed them, and then I put them in a deal to let them dry out. And it took three days to get rid of the vinegar smell on them. Ew. I was like, well, you know. I understand they got to do it to protect them while they're, you know, sitting on the shelf, but that was a little way too much. That's why I had no cookies. Huh? Yeah, that's why I had no cookies. No, you don't eat the pus, baby. That's just to help hold the tamale together. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> I hope the hell you didn't eat the husk. You, no. you brave son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I've actually had people do that. Never eat a tamale in their life, and they try to eat the whole thing. And they're like, man, this is kind of tough. And I said, what do you mean? And I look over there, and you see the teeth mark in the husk. I said, you're supposed to unwrap it. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like a peanut. You got to peel it, bro. <laughs> no, I didn't eat it. No, I've known people that's doing it. They bite into it. It's kind of tough. And I'm like, dude, you got to unwrap it, bro. It's like a burrito. You unwrap it. All the goodies are in the middle. You know, somebody popped up. Eli. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> you read my mind. I did. I did. I did. I did. So many Four fingers. fingers. <laughs> What's up, Donna? How you doing? Doing all right. What's up, Anthony? What's going on, man? Uh... Oh, I just got back from church an hour ago. Yep. Oh, my God. Y'all had longer if you just got back an hour ago. Yeah. Well, no, not an hour ago, probably a couple of hours ago. Oh. I'm just killing time before I go live in three hours. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, I was going to go to church this morning, and then I looked outside, and there was a layer of ice on everything, and yeah, yeah. I got to warm up the car, and then I got to scrape the car, and and then drive on ice, and yeah, I'm gonna stay home. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Hold on a second. Yeah, that's the way I was when I was up north. If it wasn't necessary, I didn't leave home. You know, 
Yep. So how's everybody doing today? I'm yeah. doing all right. Uh, yeah, it's like 57 here today, but the sun, oh, what is that? Coffee? Sun's out and it's clear. Yeah. Well. I, mean, I was gonna, I was gonna go get me some soda. But I was like, I don't know. I drank, <laughs> I drank two cups of uh, coffee today, and I was just like, I'm just wired. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready for my topic tonight because I'm kind of like stuck. <laughs> but I'll get there. What what are you stuck on? What I'm going to talk about. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh, no, yeah. I was going to tell you a good look. That's why I don't ever have a topic because I could well, I mean, stick to it. I mean, I start with the video and then talk about it because I really, I'm not like a, physic, a, a physicist about yeah. it. And I ready to start with the video and then like um, ask everybody what what they think about it, you know, I'll bring everybody up, but I don't know. I'm in. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> well, yeah, do like I do. I used to say people, I'm going to ask your opinion. Yeah. So, that's I want an opinion with logic, not your fillers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Cause most of them want to argue and be like, Oh, I'm right about this. I'm right about that. That's because they, right, Donna. <laughs> their opinion, their opinions with their feelings and still. Oh, look. I, mean, I don't mind. Like, I mean, if, if yeah. there's a, if there's another world that exists, right. let's talk about it. I mean, yeah. not yeah. I mean, well, cool. Let's cool. Let's just make something up. Like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. and let's see where it goes. Yeah, but there's a difference between talking about it and trying to shout it, shout everybody mm -hmm. else down. Exactly, and That's this happened. Real man, Anthony, yeah. check private chat. <laughs> Container man says the ice truck has melted. <laughs> so yeah, I think I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Like, like what Anthony says, like show a video what's it about, and then say, okay, everybody come up and give your opinion. That's when it starts. No fighting, no arguing. Just it went, that kid that went wrong last time, Donna. Like it. No, well. <laughs> But see, well, though. but see, the thing is, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta put down the ground rules. You tell everybody, he did. Uh, no, just stop saying you did. You seen it? <laughs> yeah, I was there. I, I he looks, he gotta does. let them know. Hey, look, I'm asking your opinion, and I want you to be fair to everybody, whether you agree with it or not. Let them get their opinion out, and then I'll let you get yours out. Are you gonna come up, Anthony? You should. I might, but man. You, <laughs> Okay, look, look, I'll tell you what. I'm going to go tell him to F himself. Really. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Come up, come up, and just, it, it's about, um, is there any parallel universes? But you can make up something. You can make up what you think you're going to find in the parallel universe. I mean, it could be yourself. It could be, you know, yeah. you know, it could be anything. What can you tell yourself? I mean, what can you tell yourself if you were, like, in their mistakes? You know what I mean? Like, I want to. I want to hear like a made up story, not just where. Oh, you're wrong, and I'm gonna tell them. I was like, no arguing, no nothing. L let's just make up a logic story. What you would do in a parallel uh, parallel universe? It, it's okay to argue, but don't argue with your feelings. That's yeah. What I try to tell them. Well, see, with Raven, you know, he, certain things I don't agree with. I tell people, hey, look, I'm not gonna agree, and I'm not gonna disagree because I'm a very yeah. logic person. Yeah, so, exactly. You know, I like this. I don't have proof either way, so why should I have an opinion? Exactly. Yeah. But you but but if you don't mind coming up to cool man, Donnie could come up and share your opinion. I mean, I don't need no physicist a physicist up there, or I mean, yeah. I don't I don't need someone telling me, oh, you're wrong and everything else. I'm just like, look, I'm just saying what could there be? And I don't mind y'all yeah. guys coming up. I want you guys coming up because I want someone different than you know, I mean, I'll bring them up, but at the same time, it's like there's no argument. Look at, I mean, Raven, that guy, he just talks passion. But the problem is, the other people want to just want to just start it with him, start on him, because it's yeah. happened before. I'm not talking about flat Earth. That's one subject he don't like. I mean, yeah. we're just talking about what are you gonna experience? What what would you experience? What would you do right and wrong? I mean, what would you see? What do you think you would see? I mean, that's one thing is just you know bothering me right now is I don't want to know 
I know it all or, you know, like start off with the video and tell them, hey, what do you guys think? I mean, like, what would you, you know? Yeah. Kind of like you had last time. <laughs> I, it was crazy last time, man. I was just like, oh, my God. I was just like, <laughs> no, nah, this ain't happening. And then my daughter was acting up. I kept on trying to walk off and everything. And then I'm just like, oh, my God. It was just horrible. Yeah. Well, though. Well. Uh, Where the hell? Oh, never mind. I had too many windows all open and I lost track where I was at. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah so with, with these two screens, I do that a lot, Anthony. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Hi, gamer. Hey, gamer. Hey, gamer. Oh, not a good gamer. If I'm missing anybody, I'm sorry. I don't have the chat up right now. Yeah, the, the, the parallel universe thing is something I've discussed many times with a lot of different people. Yeah. And and the thing that I keep coming back to is something that they've shown, and I go back to this a lot, but they've shown it on Star Trek, the idea of what if there's basically a universe for every decision you make in your life? Yeah, you know, That's like true. you make a decision and it splits off into a new parallel universe. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so, so every decision branches off into a new tree, and and becomes a new. Yeah. Well, see, my exist. My belief is not on on that. My belief is on the fact that I think on 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 a certain level, there's parallels to each one of us. I don't, you know, I don't necessarily believe in, you know, what decision you make. Cause I mean, I'm not saying that's not true. I'm just saying my belief is okay. Like you have the living, you have the dead. Yeah. yeah. Why is it every once in a while those two cross? Yeah. yeah. Because think about it. You got a person that's dead. Who says that they're, you know, there's gotta be a, a place where they go. Cause even if you read certain parts of the Bible, everybody goes to a certain place until judgment. Mm -hmm. yeah. And judgment is not on a basis of who dies. Judgment is supposed to be a certain day, period. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like the Catholics, you know they they have the thing called purgatory that you know you kind of hang out until you you know <laughs> better yeah. yourself. You know you you almost there, but not quite. You know. Yeah. But my thing is just like the dead. You have the dead that's died. What what saying that they're not on a plane? Just like on a CB radio, you got sideband. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And so every one thing, thing. and every one of those, once in a while, those frequency crosses path. That's why you can see them, and and they can interact with you. So you're saying that they're alive in another universe, right? Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Whether they're good or bad, that's why I look at it. Um, yep. That makes sense. No, I, I mean that's my belief is oh, you know, yeah. Because well, think about it. Because even we, I can't remember the movie years ago. It was a movie. It was a sci-fi movie years ago, and it made sense because the guy was trying to. Uh, he had his big fork looking down, and he was trying to get the harmonic balance to cross the worlds. And when he did, of course, it had little creatures floating around in the air trying to eat your ass. You know? Oh wow! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know he went somewhere he wasn't supposed to. You know, yeah. But that, that's kind of my belief because the fact is I've been near death and I've seen some weird shit, but it, I try to explain it to people, but it's hard because everybody thinks when I say I've seen something that I've seen it with these. No. Yeah. On the other side, you don't you don't have eyes. I got bad news for you. <laughs> well, that's what I'm telling you. I mean, you guys talk about that too. I mean, I mean, it doesn't have to be about that, man, because it gets bored after a while. Because, you know, like, yeah. there's so much we can say about it. I don't yeah. mind if, if you want to come on and, and tell your experience and Donna's experience. I want to know about Donna's experience. I really want to know about hers, too. Yeah. Um, if you guys don't mind coming up and talking, because, yeah. I I mean, I'm not going to have no drama tonight. Right. Yeah. And y'all seen it already. Well, the thing is, you got to learn if you got someone up there that's willing to talk, but they, they, they can't control their feelings. 
Yeah. Now, look, I'm not trying to be mean, but man, if you can't have a normal discussion without going off on the deep end, because you know, it's either your belief yeah. or no belief at all. Yeah. You don't need to come here no more. Yeah. You know, I hate to be yeah. that mean, but exactly. the thing is, I, I, I mean, like, I, you, can't I don't have, want... you can't have one person trying to shut down the other ones. Yeah, exactly. That's how it was with um, Lefty and, and this other guy. He was just shutting them down, and that's why he got upset. Because they wouldn't believe what he believed. Yeah. And it's not like that. It's not going to be like that. Because the fact is, I tell people all the time, take, you know, as much as I hate to use this word, take religion. How is it we got so many religions reading out of one freaking book? Exactly. Everybody has a different opinion. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Anthony, look at private chat again real quick, please. All right. I noticed that. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that too, Susan. That's, uh, but I can tell you, there's a VPN blocker, so that's about the best. Oh. I can, yeah. So, now, if my son was online, I'd get him to do more. But yeah, it's they're running a VPN blocker, so them it may be you, your hunch may be right. So. I was thinking if I could get like y'all's emails, and then I could send your guys a link and then come up. Yeah. Yeah, we need a hook up on Hangout. Yeah, um, I got a hang. I think I got. Hold on, give me a second. What's your? I was gonna say, what's your email? I'll, but, I'll put it in private chat. Okay, cool. I'll I'll send you the link. Do, doing what, Travis? Yeah. Oh, I gotta get back to chat. Hang on. I know your channel. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. No, it's fine. There you I go. Like yeah. about just about anything. So. Yeah. As long as it doesn't delve into arguing about particular bits of religion and yeah, do that. politics, I really hate at this point in time. Yeah. But and 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 nothing about children, please, because you know that yeah. just probably no, I don't do that. Well, pretty yeah. much everybody knows our main rule: no, no political. We touch on it sometimes, but we don't go yeah. deep into it. As far as kids, that's off limits. Period. I don't give a shit who you are. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I just don't like. Sorry. No, I just, oh, sorry. <laughs> We're talking. Oh, no, I just ain't dissing or downing someone's kid, regardless of the reason. That's not tolerated. Period. No, that's happened before, and I'm not putting up with that. Not not on my stream. Like, yeah. kid, well, I, mean, I don't. I don't do that. That's just. Well, the fact is, you shouldn't put up with it, and YouTube definitely ain't gonna put up with it. <laughs> exactly. You're so right. And I know people get mad at some of the stuff that YouTube does, which I don't agree with everything they do too, but I look at this. Who owns it? You know, if you don't like it, go somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. Oh boy. Hold on. Hey, Travis, what did you bust Canadian doing last night? And you're talking about Canadian witches or are you talking about Ron or who are you talking about? Right. I'm curious. Yeah, we know too many Canadians just to say you busted. <laughs> yeah. Our Canadian cowgirl. Oh, Donna, let me know when you got it. Okay. I got you. I got Mary Neely. That's like someone asked me the other night on Mixer that a lot of people were telling them they couldn't get on my deal. And I said, yeah, because they're using VPN blocker. I'm not having you come into my mixer. Yeah, I was done. Right? Hide yourself because if you got to hide yourself, you don't need to be where I'm at. Because I don't care what you talk about or what you want to say, how the balls will do it face to face. We've got a VPN blocker, but um, that's. Well, we were I mean, I'm not, you, these guys were mouthing off being jackasses behind a VPN. That's a whole different meaning. Yeah. Um, yeah. Gamer, yeah. just so you know, mate, you might be Batman, but I ain't bobbing for no one. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, Elon. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, let me see. I'll give you mine. Okay, cool. I'll send you the link. Um, Miss Redding, did you want to come on to you later? Um. It depends. I might still be doing this chat, so okay. that's cool. But um, I'll, you know, if I'm not, then 
Yeah, just find me on there. I'll send you a link. Okay. Cool. Thank you. No problem. Okay, Travis. <laughs> okay, hold on a second. Oh, man. What did I do wrong here? Hit. What do you want? Hmm? You got food and water. What do you want? No. You're not going to. No. You should have went out the first time. Oh, boy. Hold on a second. I think. Yeah. Well, Mama shut the door. Mama locked the door and you can't get out. Yeah. Funny, when I get to where what she wants, she does a little bow. Don't I? If, if it's not what she wants, she just stands there and looks at me sideways. So let me know when you get the email so I know what they're doing. Don't I? Thank you. Close your mouth. There's a fly buzzing around. <laughs> She ain't got ear and I don't get any. I heard you. <laughs> Sorry, you got an itchy nose, Donna. Me too. <laughs> what a day. Oh, God. Um. So, what? So, um, so Donna, where are you from again? Louisiana. Louisiana. Oh, nice. I want some nice fried chicken. Uh, well, you're in the wrong state for fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Down here, it's seafood and Cajun food, bro. <laughs> uh, Hold so on. True. Isn't that fried chicken in, in, in um, the South? Yeah, but I'm just saying that's not what Louisiana's known for, fried chicken. Trust me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're, known, we're known for Creole and, and seafood. Actually, what he's just saying, folks, is if you go down south and expect to get, to get fried chicken, it may not be fried chicken. <laughs> oh, we got fried chicken. I mean, you know, we do have Popeyes, but, you know, even though the guy started the company in New Orleans, I got bad news for you. He's not even from Louisiana. He's a Yankee. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm from Tex. I'm from Texas. Yeah. <laughs> And the only thing I know is Popeye's chicken. Yeah, I don't like. It. I, I like. You know what? KFC was. It's. it's I think KFC is so good in Australia because they got those wraps, those chicken wraps over here. They don't got really. We got them here. Oh, they do. I don't. Over here, we don't. Yeah. Well, the problem is with KFC is who's running because you know they're franchised off. They're not owned by KFC. They're individually owned by individuals. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. I got whatever they want. Well, yeah. It, well, it, well you, you, people got to understand mm -hmm. they'll take a certain recipe. It may work, say, work great here in Louisiana, but say up in North Dakota, people are like, I don't like it that spicy. So they got to kind of change it up to sell it. And then it's yeah. screwed up, man. You know, just like I have people say, KFC's too greasy. And I'm like, not down here. <laughs> Yeah. KFC is overpriced. That's what's wrong with KFC. It is. I don't I'm K you're so right about that. KFC's just it's too much, man. Like see that's funny. I guess because when they're down here around Popeyes, they have to keep level or below them, so they usually beat them. Our problem right. is, believe it or not, they opened a KFC here not that long ago, right here in my town, and it damn near shut Popeyes down. And it's not because it's Popeyes, it's because the people running it. They were nasty as shit, roaches on the wall. Ew. I sent you, I'm on Gmail, and I sent you a request. They wasn't cleaning like they were supposed to. You know, you go in there to order chicken, you look on the wall, and you see bits of chickens rolling down the wall. And I'm like, really? Ew. Uh, that was just nasty. Ugh. Yeah. And you know, as well as me, when you live in a water-bound state, Okay. You, have, you have water bugs, is which is what roaches are. They're water. They they like water. But imagine that. Imagine eating there. You being like with me. With me, even McDonald's. I like opening my sandwich just to make yeah. sure there's nothing in there. You know, and and when I'm when I'm looking, if there's something in there, I'm gonna. Uh. Well, I think the biggest thing that hurt our Popeyes is they found a, a woman was suspicious about a red beans and rice, so she saved it, had it, went and had it analyzed. And the little fucker was jacking off in the freaking red beans and rice. 
Oh, no way. What? Yeah. And they caught him, too. I mean, he's serving time because, I mean, that, you know, yeah. That's so it's just like, huh? That's considered assault. Well, yeah, it's biological uh, assault. Yeah. Because you, they don't know what you've got. You, know, you don't know nothing. They, they treat it like you got everything in the world. Yep. It's like, well, he don't have no disease. I said, it don't matter how you, how you know he didn't have tuberculosis or, or you know, or sick as, uh, not sick as hell, but uh, the others. Yeah. I mean, all you got to do is have live TVs. It's in your whole body fluids. It ain't just in your spit. Yep. Yeah, disgusting. Yeah. The sad thing is he wouldn't do it in the whole pot. He did it in a little cup deal. So it, you know, it was. Pretty, oh, jeez. Yeah, it was pretty. Uh, yeah, you could. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> family. Uh, yeah. TV. Yeah. It is disgusting. What's so up? you know, you, you know, it was done for pure meanness. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What's up, Mitchell family? Reality Show TV. Hello, everybody. I know they got rid of all those people. And it's hard new management and all that, but you know it's cooking forever to get their clientele back up. Because you know when you're in a, a town that's not really that big, word travels fast. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I mean, I know they fired everybody. I mean, they fired everybody from the dishwasher all the way up to the management. And brought whole new people in, but the thing is, they had that mark on. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, people are always going. Hmm, I wonder what next. <laughs> yeah, but if you, if you that's that's why I like I'll tell I was like saying a second a minute a couple minutes ago. I like checking my sandwich before I leave. Yeah, I mean, some people wait and they take off their orders in a hurry, and they say, "Well, you, how do we know you put that in your sandwich?" Right. Yeah. And well, that's that's. that's I, hate, well, I, I like tell that. people, you drive off and don't check your shit, then don't go back bitching, raising hell, because you're the idiot that left before saying, hey, something's wrong with it. Because exactly. I mean, think about it. That'd be no different if you sold a blanket. and you, In your mind, you know there's nothing wrong with that blanket. And this guy leaves, and, and a day later comes back and said, there was a hole burnt right here. Oh, geez, yeah. Yeah, like, hey, bro, you was probably smoking in bed, dropped your cigarette, and now you just want to replace it and try to blame it on us. No, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you should have noticed. I'm sorry. I'm I'm like him. I open shit. Hey, I bought shit in Walmart at the register, made the woman cut the deal and open it and make sure what was inside there. And the reason I did, because I actually bought something at Walmart, got home, opened the box. There was nothing in the freaking box but a, a chunk, a little like someone hammered the end off of a chunk of brick just to give it weight. Wow. Uh -oh. So basically, they bought it, put the brick in there, closed it up, brought it back. They didn't even bother checking it. They returned it, put it right back on the freaking shelf. Yep. Okay. Even I've, though they say they don't do that. Bullshit. I've, I've taken defective things back to Walmart, mm -hmm. and I'll put, like, I'll take a little bit of, like, hot pink nail polish and just put a dot on the bottom of the item. Yep. And within a week, I will find it on the shelf again. Yeah, yep. And I will take it up there, and then I will explain to the manager Why that I know what they did because yep. I put that dot there and exactly what's wrong with it. And, yeah, yep. I'll, I'll bust them. I've done it several times. Yeah. I I, I, I done it with Jack in a Box one time where um I complained because um someone left, like, a, a, their nail in there. And, like, I was about to walk out, and I had a feeling I should have checked that damn thing. Sorry. I should have checked it out. And I went back and I said, what is this? And they were like, oh, there wasn't in there. I was like, well, I don't have any nails to put in there because I always come in nails. And <laughs> they, they tried to give me a new sandwich. I was like, no, I want my money back. Thank you very much. Yeah. Well, nicely, nicely. And then I walked out. I didn't want to cost the scene. And then they called the cops. And I'm like, well, thanks. But I don't need the service. Ooh, that was in Austin. And that actually, that location shut down already because of uh, um, of the health inspections that they had. Oh yeah, so, I mean, that was just the closest Jack in the Box I could go to. Oh, you can't, 
you can't miss inspection here because they do it quite often. And there's a big letter on the door. They'll either have an A to a D. Yeah. And if it's got a C or D, you're entering at your own risk. Oh, yeah. 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 Usually when they get a D, though, they have two weeks to correct it or they close them down. Yep. They will shut the doors. I've seen it happen to one guy. He, he had a D for like three weeks. And every time the guy went back, he kept finding almost the same crap. And finally, he just went one day. It was you seen chains on the outside of the door. Damn. Yeah, because they had double doors. And after they got everybody out and closed it down, they chained that son of a bitch. You know, that way they knew they wouldn't reopen it while they wasn't around. Yeah. yeah. And then they stuck big red stickers all over the glass, letting everybody else know, we suggest you not eat here. <laughs> Uh yeah, I would never, I would never eat anywhere disgusting ever. Like, uh, uh, and you know what? That's what I always do before I go to a restaurant. Always make sure I see the A up there because yeah. I don't want to go there and then actually leave and be like, uh, I just right. ate at like a, at a C place. Yeah, in fact, that place I'm talking about, that's how my buddy and his wife got it to open their restaurant because they locked it up and the guy owed like I think it was forty thousand dollars in fines. And he never did pay it, so they auctioned the whole place off. So my buddy bought that whole restaurant for ten thousand with all the equipment in it. Wow! Because that's what it went for ten thousand. He was the highest bidder. Well, be clean. So they bid. Yeah. I mean, he got it. Hello, container man. Sixty-eight. He, him and his wife told me it took him three months to clean the inside that place out. Oh wow! Because it was so nasty. They had to have the coolers, the inside of the walk-in coolers that was in there. They had to have it pretty much just scraped. Wow. And steamed and the whole works. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, they, they've been open for 20 years now, so apparently they're running it like they're supposed to because they, they always have an A or a B. And the only, yeah. only, only reason he got a B is because some girl that was working there left the, you know, the, wag, the rag they wiped the tables off. Yeah. She left it out in the dining area on top of the table, and that's a big no-no. Yeah. Yeah, because even if you see a B, it could be for something like a garbage can was full and it, it wasn't empty. You know what I'm saying? It was over full, yeah. which yeah. I don't see how McDonald's ever gets away because you know how many times I've been to McDonald's, go throw something away, and you can't even get the door open because the back yep. <laughs> I'm like, where's their B? <laughs> I've put my garbage up in the place where you put the trays yeah. more than once. Yeah, because it was full. As my protest to their overfull garbage. Yeah. Uh, I, I worked at a McDonald's and that was one of my jobs was to make sure the garbages were always half empty or less. Right. If it was more than half, I had to take it out. Yeah, and but, you know, a lot of that a lot of that falls on the manager too, because I've actually seen managers raise hell because someone emptied a half filled garbage bag because they're wasting the bags. And I'm like, dude, let him do his job. Exactly. Yeah. I need to just chat now. You want to say something, Eli? Oh no, no, I'm just I was just saying hi to container man. Oh, okay. He just said question mark, so I'm just trying to go to your chat. Oh. Yeah. See, I used to be a manager at McDonald's and I always made sure like everything was up to par and um, everything, um, everything else. So like cleanliness and everything else. Because I just wasn't a lazy manager to go sit in the office. Like, everybody do the work. I got to make sure, like, you know, um, like the food was fresh and everything else. Timers were right, and I must mean, change right then. I don't know how they do it now, but uh, the service was always at three minutes flat. I mean, just go, go, go. Just like you know, and fresh fries and everything else. Hey Donna. Yeah. Did you get my request on on Gmail? Um okay. Okay, cool. I'll just make sure. I don't know if you're gonna and I sent you an email too, so that's pretty gross, Mitchell family. What is that? I'm not gonna read it out loud. You guys can read it. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, what? Uh, that's, yeah. 
I would have. What you do? Did you take it back and did you get your money back, or? I'd be wanting my money back plus some for that. Exactly. Oh give me no, the, give they me already got the plus bonus. some, Susan. You can't expect more. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> a box of bonus would be good for the family, but I gotta check it before I leave. Donna, Donna's gone. Where'd you get that hot dog? Where'd you get that donut again? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh mercy. I wish the container man. <laughs> Never ate at Tim. Okay. So you didn't get your money back, dude? I don't know. If they had that in there, I wouldn't have brought it back. I would have went to my lawyer and said, have this analyzed and I'll see you in court. <laughs> no kidding. Uh, oh hell no. Cause they cause they might get rid of the evidence too. Well yeah. Well, once you hand it back to them, you yeah, you gave up all your rights. Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, I'm I'm with Container Man. How do you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's. Mate, yeah. I mean, I've seen this shit, but I've never tasted it. <laughs> Fortunately, we have an outfit right here between here and the where the military base is, and the, um, other. Uh, it's uh, what's in the hell in her name? Anyway, you can bring anything in there and they analyze it for you. Because we had one restaurant here. It wasn't that they were trying to be nasty or gross. It's just they wouldn't rinse in their pots good. And people were getting upset stomachs. And a woman took a pot of their soup in and they found pine saw still in it. Oh, my God. What's up, man? They would clean the pots out with pine saw, but they wouldn't, you know, they were doing a half ass, you know, job of cleaning them. Yeah. And leave and leaving the residue inside the pot to where, you know, when they throw the stuff back in to make another stock, guess what was in it? Final. Gee, hell, man. Travis, oh, I can't watch that. Damn, man, my head's getting sore. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Couldn't you rotate it, dude? I man. mean, there's some messed up people, man. I'll tell you that already. Well, hell, look at all the videos you've seen on YouTube. Remember the guy that yeah, pissed coffee say. pot at work? Oh, no, man. Uh-uh. I was, was going to say, mate, you, you worried about messed up people. Have you been on YouTube? Then they, <laughs> yeah. then they had that one chick. Always on YouTube. <laughs> Just that, kidding. Had that one chick went in her boss's office, squatted over his single chair in there because it's cloth and pissed. She squatted right over and pissed in it. But he had a camera that she didn't know about and called her ass. Yeah, he was always wondering what that foul smell was in his office because she was going in there pissing in his chair. Yeah, yeah, people do some strange shit, man. They do, man, and you know what? It, it, well, I like, I, that's why I like restaurants with open kitchens because you can stand there and go. Oh, like those, or like those Japanese places where they like cook those. Yeah, they're right there in front of you. Hey, I've never had been there before. Ooh, and they got this new crab shack place. Yeah. Oh my God, man! I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, want to go there. Well, even Subway, you know, you can see them. They're sitting there messing with it all right in front of you, you know. And then I got a barbecue place here the same way. The, the pit where they cook is all like, like dead center and it's open. You know what I'm talking about? It's not all yeah. closed. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. I, I, I don't trust I mean, fast food, man. Like, I love I like Burger King. I haven't had the tacos yet. I don't know if y'all had tacos yet from Burger King. Yeah, and they were nasty. They're nasty? Never mind. I'm not going to have them. I trust you on that. No, no. I'm just saying I didn't care for them. Okay. But did they taste like Jack in the Box tacos? No. Even Jack in the Box had them beat. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, yeah. Maybe not. No, I trust you on that one. Yeah, no, I'm just saying, if you ever had a Jack in the Box, they made Jack in the Box taste good. So you, you know how bad that is. Okay, okay. I'm not going to I'm not gonna eat that then, bro. Ugh, that's disgusting. I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, hey, it was a buck. If you were starving, they'd feed you, but it just – I'm a Taco Bell fan. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Taco Bell. Yeah. You like Taco Bell? I like the chalupas. Yeah. Um, my fiance says – I don't like Taco Bell. And I'm just like, oh, man. So I yeah. never go there. <laughs> I found my packages. You found them? They were outside my gate. Ooh. Oh, outside of the gate? 
Holy oh, yeah. I think it's because a couple days ago, Chloe got out my door and bark. barked at the um, FedEx driver and got, I mean, within inches of the driver, did not bite her, didn't even attempt to bite her, but was barking at her. She came when I called, came in the house. I had complete control of her, but she did get past me before yeah. I got a chance to get control of her. Right. And so I think that's why my packages were outside my gate. <laughs> I had, you know, my friend, that happened to him because he had a little, he lives in a trailer park and his little area is gated off. So, it, and they got to where none of them would come to his door no more. And he got tired of them leaving. You know, he's worried about someone stealing them. So I have to build a box to hang on the fence, you know, for a package drop off. Oh, nice. Yeah. That's a good idea. Um, handcuffs. Well, I, I think, um, well, I got the um, Gmail one, um, Donna. Yeah. Like, I guess you can add me to your Gmail one. I don't know if it's Hangouts or. No, you got to physically hang, put them in Hangouts. You got to go to Hangouts, go to invite, put their email address in there to get for us to get an invite. So. I did, but. Yeah, it won't find you. You, well, he, okay. he has to give you the email he uses for Hangouts. Which yeah, is that's, that's my Gmail. Or Gmail. That's the only one. Yeah, there. that's my Gmail. Um, that I sent you a request. I mean, because what's happened? It's going to go toward to my G. It's going to go to my Gmail instead of Hangouts. And you got to have Hangouts downloaded on Chrome for it to to work. I already got. I I, I do. I yeah. send a, I send a request. Because I do it with other people too. Yeah. But it goes too much email. Then you gotta go to your setting and go to invites. Like my invite is empty right now. So oh, grief. it's like this. Wait, uh, can I share a screen it? No, I know what you're talking about. I'm just saying oh, okay. if, unless you do it right, she's not gonna receive it because she's actually gotta go to Hangout, click yeah. on the three slashes and go to invites, and any invites will be in that area. Oh, okay, and then Derek could text from my Gmail. Why? What? Why is it like when I put that email in Eli um, into Twitter, it comes up with a drag queen? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, lunar eclipse, paranormal. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> she'll be my panel tonight too. Is that Lulu? <laughs> yeah. Damn, yeah. Hey, Lulu. Conversation tonight. Oh dang! I scored. I got four full-size soda stream bottles okay. of cold water for nineteen ninety-nine. I'm glad she clarified that I got I scored. <laughs> but I got I got four bottles for nineteen ninety-nine, and actually, I had a five dollar um a five dollar Amazon certificate for one of right. my game playing sites. Yeah. So I need you know fourteen ninety nine or fifteen ninety nine or something like that. Yeah. So yeah you got the big bottles too. Yeah I was expecting like half size bottles for yeah, nineteen ninety nine. What are they? But it was they're oh. um soda stream. Ooh. They're they're cola syrup for making um I use them for making slushies with. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Delicious. So that was a pretty good score because four yeah. of them for nineteen ninety nine. That's pretty cheap. Yeah, that's not bad, yeah. especially that size. Yeah. Because usually you get some a uh, price for twenty bucks, you get the little, you know. Yep, that's what I was expecting. So I'm pretty there, pleased with that. So is it no healthy, Susan? There's no coming in. No. no. <laughs> okay, just checking. Travis, it's a thing now. It tastes a lot like um, RC cola. Mm -hmm. It it it. That's what it reminds me of is RC cola. Yeah, raw cola. It's it's really good. I like it. Yeah. Well, I grew up on raw cola because I was from, from Kentucky, and all the factories are up there. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. 
I didn't even know what Coca Cola was until I moved to Louisiana. Because up where I was at, it was either Roll Cola or Pepsi. Yeah. I'll have to let me go check it out, Travis. Um, of course, nowadays Coke's everywhere, but you know, back well, then. Is that the healthier? Is that the healthier sort of thing you have? Um. Yeah. The, the, that's the one that's like way less calories. Ooh, uh, no, I need to start getting on that. I need to lose weight for real. Like I mean, and they they actually make diet and without and it doesn't have aspartame in it. But my best friend said it actually tastes like diet, and I don't like the taste of diet soda, so I got regular. But yeah, I drink Coke Zero. That's what I drink. So. What the hell? It's sideways. But I'm used to stevia anyway, because that's what I put my coffee and tea and everything else, stevia. Yeah. At least I know that's just a leaf grounded up. It ain't something that they synthesize. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Now the aspartame shit, some bad crap. You know how they invented that, right? You know that was pure by accident. A huh. guy a guy was researching uh, contents of a stomach and his beaker blew up and it splashed in his face and he tasted some of it on his lip and it was sweet. Oh, geez. Yeah. Then they figured out the structure of it and they started synthesizing, but the first batch was made from the juices in your belly. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. But then they wonder, you know, of course they synthesize it where it makes it worse than what it already is. So, you know, wonder why it's killing people. That's pretty cool, Travis, going through the drive through with the dog sled team. <laughs> <laughs> I call Lunar uh, Mary because that's her. <laughs> I'm so used to Kurt calling her Mary. <laughs> Mary's pretty cool. <laughs> she is a cool person, so. I'm allergic yeah. to Amazon. I'm oh, yeah. allergic. Yeah, yeah later I get on. Bad headaches. I'm, yeah, I remember double cola. Yeah, uh, I still remember tab. <laughs> I'm allergic to water. Okay. Yeah, I remember double cola. Yeah. Yeah, I grew up between Ermine and Pikesville, Kentucky. That's where I grew up. Well, I'm Virginia. Virginia too, of course. Where our mine is, you cross the ridge, you're in Virginia. So you know, it wasn't hard. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Pib. Yeah, Mr. Still have that. yeah. It's it's getting harder to find Mr. Pib though. Yep. Around here, anyway, because Dr. Pepper pretty much took over the. Unless you get Dr. Thunder, which is Walmart's brand, which is yeah. made by Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah. Anthony, can you hang on to this for a little bit? I'm going to go make myself a slushy now that I have my syrup. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm going to mute myself because it's kind of loud. Okay. All, right. All right. Thank you. Be right Sorry. back. Yeah. It's kind of like money. Got to burn a hole in her pocket. Got to go make a slurpee. <laughs> yeah. For years, I used to have a little old icing machine that you take a block of ice and it would shave it. Yeah. Uh, motor burnout in it, and I spent like three or four years trying to find a similar motor to put back in it, and. Never put oh, my Miss Donna. Finally, scrap. Chainsaw might have might. Chainsaw might have done fine. Yeah, well, I don't know about in the house. My pissed old lady. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I need. Uh, like I was saying, I need to drink some more water, man. Cause uh, I love soda, man, and it's killing me. Well, when I find a water I can actually drink, I'm gonna drink a lot. Cause I've been having a lot of water tested, man. I'm gonna tell you what. Be careful what you buy in the store, okay? okay. Just because it's in a bottle plastic water. bottle. Yeah. Most most of the bottled water that gets sold here came out of the tap in the first place. Yeah, they just run it through a filter. 
some of them do. Some of them do, yeah. Yeah. Well, some of them will run them just through charcoal to get the uh, chlorine tape out of it. That's about it. Yeah. yeah. That's why I used to tell people, if you really want to know how shit is, do like me and go work for about, I mean, you don't have to do like me. I did it for two years. I worked for Kraft Foods. And, yeah, you get inside of some of those processing plants and you watch the shit that goes on in there, half of you fuckers wouldn't eat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of stuff I almost got turned away from, you know, until I realized, hey, I got to eat. Yeah. That and I started doing a lot of my own. Don't even get me started on ketchup. If y'all think ketchup. they use, if, if y'all think they use the best tomatoes to make ketchups in a factory, you're Did, hold on. Didn't ketchup oh. start as fish sauce in Korea? Yeah. Yep. Why do you people think it's tomato? Yeah. Well, I'm just saying here they use tomatoes, but it's not. Uh, put it this way, I watched them dump crates of tomatoes into the batch. That mean you would be throwing away. Not me. Yeah. If I'm, if I'm turning tomatoes into sauce, I just cut out the bad bits and still use the tomatoes. Oh, well, I know, but I'm saying they wouldn't cut out shit. They just add more sugar to kill the, the you know, the bitterness. Because yeah. the point is, if you do your sauces properly, boiling the bejesus out of it, you get rid of a lot of the issues. Right. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you get rid of a lot of the issues. I'm just saying the fact when they grind it up, you know, because of all the bad parts that left in there made it bitter. So that's why it's got so much sugar in it because they dump the sugar in there and take the bitterness out. Yeah, it's not only that, though. You Americans, if you don't put enough sugar in something, people ain't buying it. Oh, I, I prefer my ketchup straight up, hardly any sugar at all. Yeah, my, my ketchup's peppery and, and, and vinegary, not, not sweet. Hey, uh, Anthony, I sent you a message on private chat. Uh, me and Donna are talking about something, so we just thought you'd be interested. Um, I have to have your email address. Yeah, that's cool. No private chat. No private chat. Sorry, private. Yeah, in private. Yeah. Then I'll send you a link on Tuesday, and it's about Donna. We're gonna um, I'm probably gonna talk to her. So if you want to join, you guys, do you guys need a room? I mean, Susan, I'll go somewhere else. No, 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 no. We're just talking about. Yeah. It's yeah. Well, you gotta send me an email. I will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I will send you a link about um, Sunday today, and I'll send you another one on Tuesday. But it's just gonna be me. It's gonna be Donna and you only right now. So there's no arguments of what she wants to talk about. Yeah, which reminds me, where is Cherokee Rebel? I haven't seen him this one. Is that okay, Anthony? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's okay. If I'm here when you do it. Yeah, I'll just put it down. Okay. I don't, oh, I'll get it. I'm just put it this way. I don't I should be busy Tuesday, but I'm making no promises. Okay. All right, cool. I, I tell people I don't make plans and I'm gonna tell you why. Every time I make plans, something else fucks it up. Right. I'm one in when I'm ready to do something, I just do it. Don't you be bringing that slurpy back here and eating it in front of us. <laughs> <laughs> I got my camera off. She's oh, yeah, I'm talking to Susan. Talking oh. to Susan. <laughs> no slushies in front of the, the audience, please. Turn your camera off while you're going to yeah, eat that. I, I love slushies. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to hear Donna five minutes later. Where's mine? You don't, you, you don't want you don't want to be hearing Donna drooling either. That's it's so my uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, she gets all messy when she gets all drooly. Yeah. Oh man, what a. What a day, man.
You want to bet on that container man? She can do what she wants. Good. If she... <laughs> wow. Damn, she can do what she wants. Now, bugger you, Susan. You, if, if you want to, you can come back in. <laughs> <laughs> Man. <laughs> what are you eating? A pizza? What? Oh, yeah. I'm about to go make me something to eat. Thanks a lot. You're making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but I was telling Donna, I was like, we can um, talk about what she wants to talk about because I want to ask her of her experience, uh, what she's been through, and we could just talk about other stuff, whatever. I mean, don't have to be just about that. Mm -hmm. Mother hot. Yes. Uh oh, I love pizza, man. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Um, I can eat pizza all the time, lunch, breakfast, and dinner. I need that's a not, nap. That's, 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 that's not that's not pizza that uh, Anthony's eating. It's pumpkin pie. <laughs> <laughs> Lunar Eclipse is gonna take a nap. Hey, you gotta be on my panel later. Remember, I need your insight on stuff. <laughs> <laughs> You, you could take a nap while you're on my pants. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, long day, man. Oh, I just want to just... What time is it right now? Oh, man. Chills TV's coming on in an hour and a half. Uh, maybe they do, Travis, if he's got another name. Right. I'm supposed to go on Chills TV at five. Well, in an hour. Uh, and I think he's going to join me too. That's going to be six people. Five people. It's 350. Oh, same time as Container Man. Well, um, wh where are you from, Container Man? Kansas. Oh, Kansas? Oh, nice. Well, we Kansas. I'm not, I don't I don't get okay. I thought Central Time was only Texas. Why why is it um, Texas. It's crazy. I'm I'm Central Time. I'm in Louisiana. Uh, what the fuck, Mike is uh, Central Time. He's in North Dakota. Lisa from the Round Table is in Central Time Zone. The only one that's not in, in a Central Time Zone is would be Ken and Susan, where they're at. That's only because they're on the other side of the river. And uh, yeah, mountain. Yeah. But Central's all over the place, man. Just, you know. Except for where Ken and him at, for whatever reason. It's funny because Lisa's to the side, Central, and Mike is above them, Central, and I'm way below them, Central, but they got to be mountain. <laughs> I think they made it up as they went along, you know. Yeah. Yeah, and then you got yeah. I'm happy now. <laughs> got you. Smith. I haven't had a slushy in three days. I was like booming. No, have withdrawals. <laughs> yeah. Well, man, that other syrup was so gross. That's yeah. I hate to throw out a whole gallon of syrup, so I'm going to see if I can find somebody that wants it. Like, maybe my stepdaughter will want it. She'll mess around with it and make it good. Yeah. But I just couldn't stomach it, so. Mm -hmm. Me too, Lunar. I have one every day. My best friend gave me a slushy maker for Christmas, so I don't have to buy them anymore. Yeah. 
No, I wasn't overly worried about where he was. I just said I'm surprised I haven't seen him this morning. Yeah, Lunar, I use the soda stream syrup with my slushy maker. It has awesome flavor to it. So they got parts of Indiana like that because I was living in Clarksville, Indiana. It was central time zone. And I could drive not even 20 minutes north of there. And I was in a mountain time zone. Yep. Which I used to hate because I think I'm, I'm getting there just on time. And, and as I would drive to that town, I was an hour, hour and five minutes early. <laughs> well, North Dakota has all gone to central time, like mm -hmm. the whole state. Yeah. But half of South Dakota is on central time and half of South Dakota is on mountain time. Right. So if I drive north to North Dakota, when I get to the border, it becomes central time, even if I'm north of my house. Yeah. So. Yeah, automatically uh, lose an hour. <laughs> lunar, it's a um, nostalgia Walmart. brand. A Walmart special. It's a nostalgia brand slushy maker. Oh, Tim's awake. He needs coffee. I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Coffee time. Get him, Chloe. What's that, Chloe? What's that, Chloe? Get him. Okay, I hear my name. <laughs> Chloe. Chloe, where's Dad? I don't give a shit till he wants to sit on me. <laughs> Somebody crying, Mama. Somebody crying. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. Five counties in Kansas this mountain time. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, we're supposed to be doing away with daylight savings. Oh, I hope we do. Yeah. I, it's they put just it well, they put it to a vote here, and it passed, so I don't know when they're going to implement it. But I mean, back in the days, there was a necessity for it. But nowadays, because everything's machinery, and they have lights, and, you know, yeah. they're kind of like, well, we don't need daylight savings anymore. Yep. Because I hate when they do it here, man, because here at 5 o'clock, it's dark. Yep. And I'm like, oh, come on now. Oh, yeah, at 4.30, it's... It's yeah. dark. I mean, yeah. it's like, really? I've lost hours yeah. out of my day because of yeah, daylight. I'd be thinking it's been a long day and it's only 8.30. Mm -hmm. It's been black outside for three hours, you know, I'm like, yeah. yeah. I'm thinking it's like 11, 12 o'clock and it's only 8.30 p.m. I was like, Jesus. Yep. That's what screwed me up yesterday because I was looking, watching outside and didn't realize it. And I missed my dose of medicine, and you know, and then I took that new freaking shit they gave me for my diabetes. And the next thing I know, my blood sugar said, You, <laughs> I said, Well, it worked. 
just a little too good. But she told me she'd probably had to adjust the milligram. So, yeah. Of course, I was looking at it. She did tell me they're scored. She said uh -huh. if I had to, you know, still wasting this, break them in half. Yeah. So I just take half. So that's what I've been doing. She goes, well, you know, you can break those. I said no. She said each side five hundred milligrams. You know. Nice. Yeah. Still taking the whole. Thing. I wish they would make either make daylight savings or standard time permanent. One of the two. I don't care which. Just pick one and stick with it. Right. Switching crap is stupid. I mean, the time zones I can understand because you know you can't yeah. have everybody with exact time because hell, East Coast would be way darker way before Hawaii is. So you can't have us all one standard time. Yeah. But but the, the moving the clocks back and forth is a pain in the ass. No, no, yeah, yeah you can. Think... You can have your all at one standard time. It won't make sense, but you can do it. Well, yeah. <laughs> it might confuse the cattle, but hey, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. think about it. I mean, it, we're absolutely already stupid here in Australia. There's half hour between the East Coast and Central, but two and a half hours between the West Coast and Central. Yeah, the distance yeah, where does different. the half hour come in? That's what I want to know. Because we got stupid politicians who thought they could do that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And here's the silly thing about it: our time zone isn't even a half hour time zone. It's an hour. We're supposed to be nine hours, not nine and a half hours. But and then only a couple of years back, they go, "Oh, maybe we should make Adelaide the same as uh, uh, the eastern states and move the time half hour ahead." I said, "What idiot thinks the sun's going to be here half hour earlier?" Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's all governed of where the sun is at the at twelve noon yeah. on a given time. It's bad enough; it's an hour late some days. Funny. Yeah, it's crazy what politicians think they can get away with. Yeah, but we let them do it. We, uh, it's yeah. not we get a choice, Anthony. It's once you vote them in, they can do what they like. You have to vote them out to stop them from doing anything. It's not as if we get a choice of what they do when they're in. Gamer's got a good point. Oh, I thought he said it's like, but he said I like. I like putting raisins on the foreheads of the deceased and then dancing in my underpants. Okay. Why not? Yeah, game and game and knowing you, they ain't raisins. <laughs> my stream yards is frozen my the chat is anyway No, so what are, YouTube, YouTube's not running that fast either. What are you up to today, Gaffer? Well, I was going to go out and work on the side fence today, but it won't be for long because it's going to be like um, early hundreds out there today. It's going to be like eight, oh, 98 to 100 degrees out there, and I don't want to be working out in that too long. No. So. My daughter wants me to paint her drink bottle. She's got a metal drink bottle and she keeps scratching all the, the patterns off them. Mm -hmm. And so she scratched one so bad it just looked awful. I said, well, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll strip that down and then I'll spray it with undercoat and then I'll give it to you and you can paint whatever design you want on that bottle and then I'll put a clear over the top of it and you can take that to school. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it's been like five weeks because I had my car accident. I ain't been able to do shit. So yeah. I'll give that a bit of undercoat today, but if I could find any, I don't think I've got any. Um, and then um, she can um, she can paint a design on that this week, give us something to do for at least one day. Yeah, that'll be fun for her. Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Coffee's done. All right. Two sugars and a cream. I hope you like the clap. <laughs>
Boa noite. Ah. What do you mean Alaska has nine months of sunlight 24 hours a day? Hello, sick. Mean nine months of no sunlight 24 hours a day? Yeah. yeah I think it's the other way around. I, I, I've never been in that part at that time anyway. I, I know there's a few months they go with no daylight. Forgot what parts it was. It's not all of it. Isn't there a time when the Arctic Circle has uh, daylight or twilight all the time because it doesn't get dark enough when the sun's up in the northern hemisphere or something? I don't know. Never was in Alaska much. Well, sounds like the little one's waking up. I think when I was coming back from Russia, I made a stop in Anchorage. And that was about it. Was that Anchorage? Gamer likes fridges. I prefer them to be door shut because mine beeps at me if it stays open too long. Uh, it drives me crazy. Putting the washing shopping away and the, the, the fridge starts beeping and then it gets very, very anxious when you don't listen to it. <laughs> Damn, I swear my fridge is a female. <laughs> Susan, I love your jumper. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'm, gl I'm glad the windows aren't see-through. <laughs> she is too. <laughs> I actually have a tattoo of the TARDIS on my arm. Yeah. And, and one day when she feels a hell of a lot more uh, confident about herself, she might show you some of it. Someday. This summer I'll be wearing tank tops, so you'll see it. Yeah. You wearing tank tops is something we're going to see more than you want us to see, I'm telling you now. <laughs> she said no, tank I, I, wear, I wear decent tank tops. They're yeah, not low. Yeah, they're I was going to say, she wears what they actually call tank tops, not tubeless. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, but the tank tops we have here have got very big armholes. <laughs> I wear, I, if, I, if I have one with big armholes, I wear like one with small armholes underneath it so I can yeah. be decent. Yeah. Or at most, least a sports bra underneath. So uh, mo mo Most women wear a tube, boob tube underneath yeah. their tank tops where the arms are holes too big here. Yeah. Yeah, if it's really hot, I wear a sports bra under it, but, you know, doesn't show anything, so. Yeah. I'm too old to be showing shit, you know? <laughs> too old for that. Don't worry, Susan, I'm not too old for you to show shit, all right? <laughs> <laughs> like my aunt used to tell me, baby, I'm blessed, but at my age, you don't want to see it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, gamer anyway. Turrets do suffer from the winter's chill, so. Yeah. Tank tops. <laughs> <laughs> they have to have big holes so they can go over the tank. Oh, yep. I, was like, I was like, here, it's not as bad as it used to be, but, you know, the little deals is like a one piece you pull up over, you know, your center right here. Hold, 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 on, hold on, Gamer. I thought that. Uh, turrets were a tank top. Yeah, but the funny thing is, the women will walk in the store, look, and there's this much claw up here, but their nipples are down here hanging out because their boobs sag so much. <laughs> and I'm like, because I, I mean, they're doing like this, 
And I'm looking down, holding my hand over there, and, I, and one of them says, what's wrong? And I said, I'm trying to talk to you. She said, well, you're not looking at me. I said, ma'am, I'm not looking up. It's the only thing I see is a big freaking quarter-sized nipples hanging out the bottom edge of it. So. Funny. Hey, you know, I'm talking about, you know, them. I hate to say it. I ain't trying to be mean, but the women that's like 45 uh, and over and trying to dress like they're 20. Yeah. No, gamer. The reason yeah. I'm Australian is because I've been a naughty boy. <laughs> <laughs> Donna, I'm with you. If I don't wear a bra, yeah. Yeah. Good. And, and take my words, folks. A sagging Donna tits is not something you want to know about. <laughs> yep, yeah, Breeze skydiving adventure was pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. As 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 Kay would say, if she doesn't wear a bra, she got fruit roll ups. <laughs> oh yeah after all the weight she's been losing yeah. oh yeah Roy, on, on new year's when she did the tits hanging out the bottom of her shirt that was funny yes but it's spelt different gamer it's spelt different <laughs> yeah and there's not a song wrote, wrote, written about the the type of cheese Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. oh, eighteen minutes ago, and I'm just not getting. Oh, gotta love you. A message. Someone sent me a message on Hangouts. According to this, they sent it 18 minutes ago, and I just got it. I want to get you on. Well, yeah, but Hangouts usually not that slow. Though. Well, StreamYard's chat still hasn't moved, so. Well, yeah. Well, just go out and come back in. Two forty-seven. Yeah, go to private. For a few, but like a minute, and then go back to uh, comments, and it should catch up. Well, I try that. I'll just I'll sit and wait on private for a little bit, and just let it sit there. Yeah. Oh mercy! Okay, who's uh, supposed uh, to be wearing uh, a helmet? What's that? Who's supposed to be wearing a helmet? Not sure. I have one thing to do today. I have to shave Ken's head. Wear, oh, wearing a helmet for what? Why? Because he wants a haircut. Because yeah. he's getting sick of his hair. Can you, yep. can you, can you plant his beard for us as well? No. I don't do that. No. I, I sometimes help him trim the edges of it to make them even, but I don't do any major yeah. beard anything. Nope. And you shouldn't either because one little screw up, it's all your fault. Yep. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think Susan's shoulders are big enough. She can handle that one screw up. Oh, I know. But it's just a half of going through it. hearing someone, you screwed it up. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I'm not comfortable doing the beard cutting. I'm. I'm really not comfortable doing haircuts, but yeah, I do. Them, so just, just do what my wife does. Put a number four comb on the on the um, clippers and just go. You're done. Go away. I, I do a half inch. I think it's a half inch on the sides and an inch on the top. And yeah. So. Yeah. I'm saying, yeah. that's why, I, like, when I trim my beard or cut my hair, I do it myself. Only thing I might ask her to do is to make sure it's boxed in the back. You know, I didn't 
you know, oh, make yeah. room for a haircut. Yep. <clears throat> that way, you know, if it's done wrong, it's your fault. You, you got no one to scream at, bitch at, <laughs> argue with. <laughs> Well, I mean, unless you stand in the mirror like me and argue and lose. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell people at work, they go, you talk to yourself a lot? I said, yeah, but I'm okay. But if you see me losing, come help me out. <laughs> I said, Hello, I, hey, I say I argue with myself all the time. I just hate losing. <laughs> How funny, Roy. <laughs> every, everywhere, Ken. Are you sure everywhere? Right. What's up? Ken said half inch everywhere is fine. Are you sure, Ken? Everywhere? You sure you can <laughs> do it everywhere? <laughs> hey, I, I like the picture. I'm getting used to that picture in the background. <laughs> It'd be Ooh. standing. Be standing looking down, going, What the hell? You said half in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, Miss uh, Miss uh, Renda, can I steal that picture from you? All I gotta do is click on here and I'll put yeah. copy. No, I'm just kidding. No, I, I grabbed it off the internet, so that's what I did. Like my picture. <laughs> uh, hey, Anthony, you see my picture right there? The half, huh? I'll close it. That picture right there, I have, and I'm closing it. And eh, not really. It's it's awful small, man. Yeah, but it's like it, it's like a brain. Like ah, it's yeah. it's it's gonna be like part of my um, new transformation on my channel that I'm yeah. doing. Your wife could tell you about it. She uh, yeah. Ooh. yeah. Uh. Okay, now I can see it. All right. Yeah. I'm All trying right. to I'm trying to make me change it to like a okay. like more I mean it's positive but sort of paranormal but paranormal in a different aspect. Yeah. And also a positive channel. Not a Christian channel, but sort of positive channel. Not not a throwing not throwing the Bible at anybody, but more like a positive, you know. Well, that's why you positive. that's why you tell people this is not a religious, it's a spiritual. Exactly, and, spiritual. And, and and Roy, the YouTube community will thank you for that. <laughs> hey, um, and you know what? That's why I made my chance to be uh, to help people and to be positive and to and to help each other be positive. And I'm um, I'm every half of my community is most of my community is paranormal, but I need more people on my panel that's more like positive. Yeah, sort of like. But, I'm off, you know, and, um, but Eli, you got to be prepared because I'm gonna tell you, regardless of what you're gonna do, you're always gonna draw the negative. So exactly, and Mary knows that was a positive person too. <laughs> yeah, because for some reason the negative egos come and and they seem to not be able to find another channel to go to, and they want to bitch and complain and moan and groan. Yeah. yeah. And my thought is, if you don't like the channel that much, why go there? Stop bitching, go away, find something else that you like, you know? Exactly. Because I tell them, my wife just tried to change me for 30 years, didn't work for her, sort of fucking gonna work for you. <laughs> That's my fiance. She goes, she goes, I'm, she goes, I'm still waiting for your channel to transform because yeah. I'm in, uh, and so I'm just like, I'm trying to, trying to switch it around. Yeah. But it's hard because, like, I mean, I'm trying to find different things to talk about with paranormal sometimes and and yeah. the positive channel during whenever. Yeah. And yeah. but it, the problem is, I talk about I talk about the positive, but they end up going to paranormal, and I'm just like, oh great. <laughs> but I don't mind though because half of the half of the half of my half of the people that I follow, they're yeah, paranormal. The thing is, if you pick a topic, you just gotta remember. Hey, that's all good and dandy, but remember, stick to the topic. Yeah, exactly. We'll talk about that another time, but tonight it's this topic. Exactly. Susan, exactly. are you listening? I'm listening. He's trying to good preach. Good tips for live streaming. <laughs> what? Good tips for live streaming. It yep. is a good tip. <laughs> it's a good tip. I'm hearing you. Stick to the topic. Yeah, don't invite idiot Australians up to talk about everything else. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Martha. Sorry, I'm just checking out this. Um, I I signed up to be a product tester for this company, and the first what they do is they send you or they put the money for the product in your PayPal account, and then you buy it off of Amazon. And I had three dollars left over because I got I found it on sale on Amazon. It was the exact product. It was just three dollars cheaper, so kind of scored there. But then you try the product and then you write a review and send them a link to your review and and then you get to do it again if you want to. So yeah. kind of cool. Yeah. So I'm going to be reviewing Antarctic krill oil soft gels. Seriously? Seriously. Yep. They 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 they're now they're now riping the Arctic krill. They can't just leave the rest of it alone. Antarctic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. The the what the whales can't have their own food. Damn, can't they just leave that shit alone down there? Well, well, I need to do some research before I start taking these and find out what they're for. I've heard of it's them. I've, I've got friends that take them, and it's yeah, fish that's, oil. that's, what I've that's heard all it of is. It's just just fish a fish oil, oil omega threes. So, and that's something I'm supposed to actually be taking. My doctor keeps telling me to buy it but it's so freaking expensive that i haven't so what yep. the heck i'm game yep well, they're gonna give me the money to buy a 20 dollars product off amazon i can spend five minutes writing a review yep. yeah that's it i'm game and that's why she drinks slushies now <laughs> oh man Oh. Oh, damn. Oh. My cup, I reopened it. Geez, Nancy went quiet, didn't she? She might be in a place where she's not getting signal or something. Hey, guys, I'm going to let you go. i got um, a, a private stream. I gotta go talk. I gotta get someone prepared for tonight. So okay. uh, I'll so see you guys later. Later. What later. Right. 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 When is when is your chat? Um, it's at six p. It's a six p.m. Central Time. Okay, so can you really quick type in the chat so that if anybody in chat now wants to come check you out, they can. Okay. Eli gets some really good discussions going, guys. So, so that's in. How long is that? Is that an hour and a half away? Uh, yeah. Uh, see, see, an hour and thirty minutes away. Okay. Yeah. So, in an hour and a half, guys, check out check out Eli. Yeah. Hey Cherokee, please do me a favor if you're in chat and come in on your other name so I can see you. Uh, Mary, check, uh, check your email too, please. I got to see y'all later. See y'all later. Um, Thanks for coming up, Eli. I appreciate no it. Thanks. Later. See ya. Bye. Bye. And hey, you going, Cherokee? I wonder where you were. I knew you'd pop in sooner or later. So supposedly this Antarctic krill oil has a higher rate of absorption than standard fish oil. Yep. Yep. Now you know why the whales eat them. Yep. They put on up fat. fat. Yeah. Up to 48 times more absorbable than standard fish oil. Oh, that's pretty decent. Yeah. Well, that's why the whales eat them and stuff because they, they put on fat faster. Yep. It's more, you know, it's quickly absorbed. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. That's sad, man. That's why I hate freaking going to Lake Charles, man. Jesus. What? Okay, thanks, Donna. 
I stopped in Lake Charles because you know it's kind of like a that area is like what we call tourist trap. I bought four cokes. I bought all of us a coke right before Nancy got on the bus. I mean, not bus, the train. And I got four cokes. And I paid eight dollars and thirty-seven cents for four cokes. Oh, what the hell! And they weren't even twenty ounce. They were six, those sixteen point fives. Wow. So, yeah, I basically spent two dollars and nine cents per coke for a sixteen ounce. Yeah, that same sixteen ounce over here barely cost you a dollar five. You know. No, you bought a twenty-four ounce. Oh, they were twenty four ounces. Uh -huh. Well, that's still bad. Two two dollars and nine cents for a twenty four ounce Coke. Hey, Hi. Joseph. That's horrible. Hey, Joseph. And even over here, a twenty four ounces, a dollar forty nine. Over there, I paid two oh nine plus tax, so that probably brought it up to two twenty, two thirty. Put this way, I bought four of them. It was eight dollars and thirty seven cents. That is crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's a fucking meal at McDonald's. <laughs> Eight dollars and thirty-seven cents. I could have had a burger, fries, and a coke. Yep. Except for there, because it's yeah. Nope, that was horrible. Okay, I'm trying to get into this bottle and it's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. You just got to be mean to it. Yeah, I, mean, I remember years ago when I first came out with a child proof lids. I couldn't even get the thing open, so I handed it to my nine-year-old at the time, and she opened it up in two seconds. Uh -huh. Oh, jeez. I was like, oh, so much for child-proof. <laughs> well, yeah. That's yep. not too bad. It's not real huge or anything like that. Nah. No. And it doesn't smell bad. Like, I have I mean, fish oil pills smell horrible. Yeah. And that's what you advertise with this is that it doesn't have the fishy aftertaste. That's why. So. That's why I, I quit taking like the omega-3 pills. I could taste that some of it's all the way in my mouth, all the way down the back of my throat, and then my stomach would get upset. And I'm like, nope, I'm done with those. And well, like, when you, open, you know, like you said, when you open the bottle, the smell would knock you down. Yep. No. I think it's the brand I got was that Omega Three, and they were ugh. Yeah. And they always made my stuff. I'd have to drink Pepto after taking them because it may, you know, give give you a sour stomach. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I hear you can't. <laughs> Yeah. It doesn't have to be food to be a meal. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. Oh, yikes. That's not what I wanted to do. Let's see. Abandoned places untouched for decades. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Usually when something's not touched for decades, there's a reason why. That's why you don't buy it. Try to move into it. Right. I don't understand people. They go to an area, they find a house and a piece of land that no one has wanted to live in for 30 years. Buys it, starts redoing it to move in, and then find out it's haunted and bigger than shit. <laughs> now, There's a reason it's been empty. Yeah, exactly. And yep, was, I know that, Ken. And before he bought it, there was 17 other buyers, and, and the longest one owned it was three months. Wow. That would tell you right there, something in there doesn't want you there. <laughs> well, if I was buying a house, I would be checking Researching. the history of the house, how yep. many buyers it had had, how long they had owned it for. I'd, I'd be checking all Why that. Why they sold it so fast. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
because people don't realize if a realtor knows certain things about a place, they are supposed to disclose them. But if you don't ask and you don't push the subject, they're not going to bring it up. Yep. Because they can physically go, well, you know, I just didn't think about it. And he didn't ask. Yep. Simple as that. Yep. Or play dumb. I didn't know. I just, I was, I was asked to sell it and I sold it. <laughs> they don't care. I mean, you know, as much as most of them say, oh, I, I try to, you know, think of people. And I'm like, no, you're there for a paycheck, period. You're, you're. <laughs> I'm sorry, even me, if I'm there for a paycheck, I'm not going to be there to slowly help you. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm going to try to be as honest as I can, for, especially a person like me. I'm going to be as honest as I can, but I'm there to make a check, okay? That's point blank and simple point to it. I'm there to make a check. Yep. Well, I tell people when they get mad at people at the cashiers and stuff for something they have no control of, so why are you arguing with her? She's here making $7 an hour. She ain't here to listen to you. Yep. Move on. Call the owners. You know, ask for the manager, go off to the side and bicker with him. Yeah. Exactly. People don't realize them cashiers have no power to do shit. Exactly. Yeah, I have time. Ken, yeah. Ken just said if we buy a house, we will send Donna in first. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, no, I'm like you. I don't understand people buy something and bitch about it later. I'm like, you didn't research it? No, why not? <laughs> Especially nowadays, it's not hard to research stuff nowadays. You know, ain't back like when you had to chase paper trails. Now you can get on the internet and 50 people go, oh, yeah, don't buy that. Something. <laughs> yeah. yeah, unless you're gonna open a haunted house. <laughs> I just discovered that my camera wasn't um, set up to the highest setting, so I'm going to try it on the highest setting and see how it works. All right. Ooh, cheese curds. Mm -mm -mm. I like cheese oh, curds. Take them off, Lunar. All right. Thanks for coming in. Yep. Yeah. I still can't get the chat unfrozen on StreamYards. It's really weird. Oh, oh I got a question for you. Says you like lasagna? You like lasagna? It depends on the lasagna. Okay, I'm talking about true lasagna with the, the cottage cheese, the eggplant, the whole works. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Someone told me the other day, I was like, it was okay, but there was no, um, you know, there was no cottage cheese on it. No, hardly any cheese at all. And I'm like, this is, no, no, you got to put cheese. At least oh, cottage. Oh, yeah, the has to have cheese. I mean, I understand some people don't like ricotta, but you got to at least put cottage cheese on it. Come on. That, that, yep. No, that just makes it eggplant ruddy uh, casserole. <laughs> No, I make it just There's like no cottage lasagna, cheese. It's just eggplant casserole. Well, you could do that too, but my lasagna still has ground meat in it, so. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's, you can't yeah. you can't be turning around, tell them put an egg, and they go, "No, it's a vegetarian casserole. It's not even bloody lasagna." Bugger off. Yeah. You have a look at it, Italian. I think lasagna well, has I, something to do with meat. Yeah. No, I'm just saying I don't care what you put in the lasagna. <laughs> it ain't at least got ricotta or ricotta cheese in it. To me, that's not lasagna. Yeah. I don't like lasagna with that white sauce in it. No, no. It's got to, it's got to have meat and ham and cheese and, and cream cheese and, and all the other stuff to make it nice and gooey and sticky and meaty and garlicky and tomato yeah. and Italian. Yeah. Well, that's why I try to argue with people. They always want to meat the crap out of their spaghetti. I say, you know, true spaghetti doesn't have a shitload of freaking ground meat in it. I'm sorry. It was mainly veggies, you know, eggplant, zucchini, <laughs> you know, carrots. <laughs> yeah. Most, I'm telling the meat doesn't make it Italian. The tomato sauce makes it Italian. 
and, and olives. Olives and, and tomato olives, sauce. Yeah, yeah. Anything with olives and tomato sauce is, is definitely Italian. Yep. The garlic's not even so Italian. They just added that recently. But garlic, anywhere in Europe, garlic. Yeah. Yeah, they were more into maybe, you know, uh, like sweet basil or something like that, but not garlic. Uh, I don't know. My uncle's religious on that garlic, man. He even does it the old, old, old freaking Italian way. He shaves it with a razor blade. <laughs> you know, that way it dissolves completely into the sauce. Yep. Yeah. I'm sorry. I don't have the patience to sit there with that little clove with a freaking razor blade on. <laughs> yeah. I take that little deal and stick the whole clove in and go, whoosh, it's crushed. Yep. It? <laughs> <laughs> it's crushed. Get in there. Yeah. It'll dissolve. <laughs> I want to get one of those garlic presses that takes the outside off the pre off the clove. They all do. They all do. They all do. I'll show you how I get mine off. They all do. Anything that, that crushes into a fine mince takes the skin off as it does it. Oh, really? You can't crush the fine. Yeah, you can't crush the, the skin. The skin is more papery, so it won't crush. It'll just. See that right there? Inside the okay. See this yeah. right here? That's how I get the fillings off my garlic. I take my clothes and I cut just the ends off and I throw them all in here together and shake the shit out of it and all the hide comes off of them. Huh. All you gotta do is shake them in a jar. This is what I use right here to fill my garlic. You wanna, you know, in the other way, get and get uh, the skin off your garlic. Rub yeah. it between your, your hands. Yeah, but I'm just saying, just I roll can it around in your hands yeah. in, a, in a rough manner. The, the skin will come off, and the garlic will be just a yep a, a nude, exposed garlic, vulnerable garlic. Hmm. I'm just saying, I just cut the ends off, throw it in but here. I, and take it. I try that with women, but they don't get as news and exposed and they get a little bit irate. But <laughs> hey, with garlic, it works fine. <laughs> In fact, I use it so much, it smells like garlic. <laughs> That's pretty good when a glass jar smells like garlic. Yep. But it's the only thing this gets used for, the you know, when I cook, I can buy my big clothes, I break it down, I just cut the tips off, throw them in there, and just, and like I said, I gotta dump it out with new garlic, and you just kind of blow to the right, you know, blow in one direction, the skin's all fall this way, you pull, pull the garlic out. Wow. Yep. I had no boy show me that because I was thinking, how the hell is that going to work? And when he did it and showed me, I was like, I'm a son of a bitch because I was always the guy that's sitting there going, yeah. Yep. Getting it up underneath your fingernails and your fingers start burning. <laughs> like, son of a bitch. When he showed me that, I was like, get the hell out of here. <laughs> well, I just discovered something interesting. If you drop a drip of liquid on your touch screen phone and it runs down your phone, it'll activate all sorts of interesting things. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. That was quite strange. And just hope it don't get underneath the screen and all kind of weird stuff will happen. <laughs> yeah, it, it was just, it didn't get into, you know, down yeah, I know. I know. or anything, but yeah, it, it just, it started running down the screen and yeah, and my, all the my, things started coming on. Yeah, my phone's waterproof, or I should say water resistant. There's no such thing as waterproof. But uh, I sit there and drop water on it, and watch, you'll see the screen just go ape shit every time it hits something. Yep. And cold water works better than warm water. I don't know why that is. But, yeah. Weird. Weird. I've got mud on my phone and I run it underneath the sink to clean it. And I used to do hot water thinking I'd get it clean better. And it wouldn't do all that. But when I run cold water, it goes ape shit. It's hmm. weird. That is weird. I figure hot water would do more because it's supposed to be like, you know, the touch doesn't have nothing to do with heat. <laughs> no, I've, I've got um, touch screen gloves. Yep. And, and they can be super cold for me. And it works and all that and they work just fine so 
Yeah. And only these two fingers on yeah. each hand yeah. work for yeah. the touch screen. Well, mine, it's this finger and your thumb. In case, huh. you know, that way if you're a thumb or with one hand, you can. Oh, I suppose the Susan. thumb probably works too. I just never use it, so. Yeah. Susan. Yeah. Check this out. Oh, yeah, he just crushes the whole thing. Yep. Oh, what the hell? And I've been doing it the hard way all these years. I know. Yeah, crush the whole clove, you know, the whole yeah. ball. Yeah. It's a whole lot easier. Wow. Learn something new every day. <laughs> yeah. There's all kind of different ways of doing it. Yeah. My daddy showed me that way. Yeah. I always like doing the jar shake. It works better for me. If I knew it was that easy, I'd probably use fresh garlic more often. Oh, I love fresh garlic. Of course, I, I, nowadays you can buy a jar of it already cubed up for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, don't, I don't crush my own garlic anymore. I buy it in jars. It's already crushed. It's already sit down, and it gets stronger the longer it sits there. And it's, it's absolutely mm -hmm. just like a big yeah. teaspoon. Hey, I buy it too, as much as I, I, I have fresh garlic. The lore, but I, I still buy a jar. That way, if I'm in a hurry, teaspoon equals a clove. <laughs> yep. Yep. It's, not, yep. it's not only that, though. If you don't cook all the time with garlic, the garlic ends up growing in your bloody pantry. Yep. It's like friggin' onions. Yep. Yeah, true. Yep. If I didn't at least cook with onions at least three or four times a week, I wouldn't buy hardly any onions. Right. Well. Yeah. Even when the onions on sale, I buy a shipload of them and I'll cut them up, cube them up, chop them up, and throw them in a Ziploc bag and freeze them. Yeah, I, I prefer to buy the baby onions if I can and if, and, and just pickle them. Yeah. Pickled onions. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Cool. Have you ever, you ever pickled garlic? Oh, no. Oh, God. You got to pickle some garlic, bro. Oh, I <laughs> Just, no, just no, remember. No, 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 no. Yeah, no. If you're gonna eat them, make sure your wife eats some too that same day. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you walk up and say, she'd be like, Oof. "No, I don't think." So. <laughs> uh, if you sweat, you sweat garlic. Oh, yeah, yeah, but that's bullshit. As much garlic as I eat, I don't ever sweat. It smell yeah, like garlic. Yeah, yeah. A, 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 a doctor told me once that garlic is very good for heart. Yep. And will we'll stop you from having heart attacks and heart issues. So yep. I used to eat a quarter of a teaspoon a day. Yep. <laughs> yep. No garlic bag, believe it or not. People don't know it. Onion's good for you too. Yep. Yeah, I know. Garlic's got a little bit more of something in it. And right. after eating a quarter of a teaspoon a day for two years, I wondered why I had no friends. Especially, <laughs> when, I, especially when I found out you can take the outer filling of an of a onion and make tea out of it. Yep. Yep. That good shit is good. Too. Yeah, good for your age. Yeah. I was like, holy shit. Because <laughs> a guy tried to fill some onion, he made tea out of the ones. And I was like, holy crap, I didn't know you'd make tea out of that. And it was actually damn good. Yeah, I'm not sure I want to pour uh, onion tea in my ear, though. <laughs> no, no, no. That that way you don't you don't boil the pilling. You take the whole onion, pilling it on, just crush the living shit out of it. And you get, the, you know, you actually get, it's like squeezing all out of an all, olive, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Like garlic. Yeah. Well, yeah, you can squeeze all out of a garlic, too. It just mm -hmm. takes a whole lot of it to, to, to get anything. I, I, I tried to make onion, uh, onion oil, and I, I squeezed, I, I pulverized it. I, I, yeah, I, to the stage yeah. where it was so fine. I needed to get a stocking to strain the hard bits out of it, but yeah. after I did it, it tasted like the the wife's foot, and I forgot eh, I should have washed that stocking <laughs> first. It's hard. Yeah, but it takes a lot of it to get any. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. People don't realize you can get all out of an onion, yes, but the time you get anything to be worth anything, you don't waste a shitload of onion. 
Right. It's 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 like tomato puree. Everybody goes, oh, tomato puree. It's easy. You just pulverize tomatoes. No, no, no. no. Oh, to turn no, it no. into a pasty puree, the proper thick stuff that you can add to things for for flavoring and everything else. Yep. You got to have like twice as many tomatoes as you think you need, and then you got to sit there and cook them very very slowly on a high heat. So you dry them out, but don't burn them. It's a right. freaking hard thing to do. Yeah. I asked the wife if I could have a dehydrator for it, but. Mm, Finding yeah. the right dehydrator is very hard. Like another thing I like to do with garlic, take the whole bulb and stick them on a tray and, and bake them in the oven, <laughs> roast them. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. oh, they come out sweet, don't they? Yeah. Oh. Still still make your breath stink, but oh, they're sweet. Hey, yeah, at the time, you don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I don't care after either. <laughs> your breath stinks? Well, stay away. Yeah. <laughs> I'll put it this way, Susan. The reason why I said I showed you that there is you can actually get what they call a garlic tube, and what it is is it's like a bit of silicon tubing. You poke your, your uh, clove of garlic in it and you just roll it on the bench, and then when it drops out, the skin stays in and the uh, garlic drops out without any skin. Right. <laughs> but those things are not easy to find. They're not cheap, and it's yeah. I mean for Christ's sake, a hardboard will do the same thing. Yep. Yeah. That's kind of what this process is like. The tube is just, just a glass jar, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm glad there's an easy way to peel garlic. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you know the funny thing is, I didn't I didn't learn this until I was in Africa. You know how we open bananas? Mm -hmm. It's the wrong way. It's wrong. I don't. I open it the right way. I always have. You're supposed to open it from the butt end. You're not supposed to open it where the stalk is. Oh, wow. Really? The, 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 the stalk is supposed to be the handle. It's supposed to be the grip to hold it. No, I'm serious. That's the way. That, that's the actual proper way to peel a banana is hold it by the stalk, you know, the stalk in your hand. If, huh. if, if you don't believe us, have a look at monkeys. They know how to eat bananas. Yeah, monkeys <laughs> do too, yes. I didn't know that. Well, that's how I learned it because I was watching the monkeys there at the airport. And I was like, and I noticed, like you said, they were grabbing it by the stock and going. I was like, he says, yeah, that's the proper way of doing it. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> I said, I was always taught. <laughs> now I've learned two things today. My brain is getting full. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, you know, I'm not saying that's the proper, proper way. You, know, you, eat, you eat like you want, but. That's the original way, anyway. I tell the monkeys do it. Yep. I was like, holy crap. It's like, I've been eating bananas. He said, well, it's not necessarily you eating them wrong. It's just you're throwing away the best part, the handle. <laughs> I was like, that makes sense. I don't care which end I start from, as long as I don't get any of the those strings. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, and, and and as long as I don't get the, I guess what would be the top of it, that yeah. little piece that's about that long that's yeah. black. Kind of well, it. well, the thing about the right way to peel a banana is when you do that, the thing you'll find is getting it started. And as I say to my daughter, the 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 knob end, you pinch the knob to to get it to split. And then you yeah. start doing the split, and you'll notice that that little black bit on top actually starts coming away with the split. And the thing is, if you can get rid of that black bit in that first go, the strings stay with the skin. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. And then you end up eating a banana, but you don't take it out of the skin till that last bite. Always leave it in the skin and peel it down as you need it. Two reasons: one, it stays fresher before you eat it, and two, it doesn't get start sticky turning. in your hand and fall out on the floor. Yeah, you don't start. Uh -huh. burning. They don't start turning brown on you either. Yeah. Wow. And uh, uh, one other little tip for everybody. When you uh, dice uh, onions, don't cut the base off the onion before you dice it. Yep. Yeah, it's Not weird. cutting the base off and leaving that last little bit of root base on the onion right up to the last slice means the onion won't get so odorless and pungent straight up. Hmm. It's the problem. Everyone tops and tails an onion and then dices up and then halfway through they're crying. They go, why? It's because you, you took the tail off. Yeah. Hmm. You, trigger, you triggered its defense mechanism. Hmm. Yep. Interesting. I'll have to remember that one. Yeah. 
Well, I usually start, like, I usually end up using about a half an onion at a time. And so I cut it in half, and I usually end up using the top half and putting the tail end in the fridge. So, and then I, I kind of start, I guess I do that anyway, just because of the way I cut the onion. Um, yeah. It's just kind of, it ends up happening, so... Because I've never had much of a problem with being sensitive to onions. Yeah. I've, I've always cut them the same way and never really cried from them. And so my mom always used to have me cut the onions because they never bothered me. So I guess I've been doing it the right way the whole time. Well, that's like my niece called me one time. She wanted me to cut up some potatoes for potato sauce she's making. But she wanted me to cut potatoes because I had the machine that cubed it. Mm -hmm. I put it all in a bowl, put a lid, and brought it to her, and she was amazed because they were still white. <laughs> she said, when I cut potatoes up there and transport it, they start turning brown and yellowish and yucky. I said, that's because you didn't put lemon in it, goofball. Yep. I take lemon, squirt, you know, actual real lemon, squeeze half of it in there, and I, you know, kind of do like a salad toss to it to get the lemon all over. Yeah. It stops the process of it turning brown. Yep. Close it down anyway. Yeah. I just put me out. I just put potatoes in water when I'm peeling them. Yeah. Do you yeah, you drain water off. Yep, keep them in cold water. Yep. It's, it's only the air that makes potatoes go brown, so. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, mercy. El Paso. <laughs> That's like when I make my mashed potatoes, people freak out. What's that taste? I said, why? You don't like it? No, I love it. What is it? Said, it's called sour cream and cream cheese. <laughs> hey, Julie. Yeah. And they're like, well, I never thought about that. So well, think about it. You eat a baked potato. What do you put on it? Sour cream and cream cheese. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. This way it's all mixed together. <laughs> Oh, Touch Lord. Your there, nose, goes, Nancy. there goes the neighborhood. Touch your nose. That's it. Really, you can use that link, too, if you want. Nancy, where, where, huh? where's, your cowboy, where's your cowboy outfit? Ah. Where's your cowboy outfit? Have, Come on. You're I don't in, have Pe one. You got, you're in Pel El Paso. You can't be in El Paso <laughs> without a cowboy outfit, right? I don't have one. <laughs> you stick your head out the window. Yeah! <laughs> so hey, Shut but T touch your mannequin. Touch. Look at that doll train track. <laughs> you can't tell her to touch her board because you got to touch 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 me like this. Hello, TikTok. Hello. <laughs> All right, we on tonight, baby. I got my rhythm back. <laughs> one, one, one of your dolls is moving. <laughs> one that looks like a cat is it, its head's turning and going everywhere. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm going to attack it. <laughs> Cats back here. Not how much? <laughs> Wait for the green begging. Tell whoever is driving to pull over to the side of the road so you can get out. Then you won't have to put up with passenger seats anymore. <laughs> anyway, we're here for a few minutes. You got a layover? Hey, just think. Just a little bit of one. All that time on a train, Nancy's going to get home. Hell with train. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm beginning to be feel, I'm feeling that way like that. It's like, yeah. I don't want to travel anymore. I don't want to go on bus. I don't want to go on a train. I don't want to do it anymore. <laughs> now you know how they get people that fly, you know, because fly is quick, but you pay for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I'll never fly. No, I'm not putting my chair through security like that. I love well, it. Make up your mind, Cherokee. You either put up passenger seats or you get out. I mean, you can't yeah. have both. 
I love flying, but that's good. I just can't do it no more. I, I, I love flying. It's the landing I have problems with. The landing and taking off. Hey, any, any crash you can walk away from is a good landing. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm, I'm, a little bit like, I'm a little bit like a pelican. I, I'm graceful as I take off, but when when I come in for a landing, I always go for a nose dive. Oh yeah. <laughs> look at the look at the bird walk in the tracks, you guys. Yeah. Seriously, Nancy, you think we can see that? <laughs> yeah. The bird down there? No. I see a. All the way down. If you look at all. No, down Nancy. there. No, 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 Nancy. Down I there. Can't see it. Down there. Can't down see there. It. Yeah, can't see it. Can't see him. Uh -uh. You got a crap camera on a crap phone in a crap area. What do you think that's going to be? <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> yeah. Now, the bird behind you, that's a bit of a different kettle of fish. <laughs> 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 oh. Anyway. Oh. Now you can say you got your train right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm ready to be off of it. <laughs> oh, I know. I so. How long have you been on it? Since yesterday. Yep. How much longer? Until Tuesday. Ooh, that'll be a while. Well, it's better. It's better until Friday, like on the way there. Oh, yeah. Actually, yeah. Actually, they're 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 uh, saying that I might get stuck in El Paso or uh, El Paso in uh, L.A. again. So I might I might not leave L.A. until the next day. So I probably won't get home now until Thursday. Hi, Jim. Oh, you're having a slushy. I can see. Oh, I see. I see. I want a slushy. Greyhound have taken over the bus for, uh, train service. Hello, Tim. <laughs> hey. I, Julie, I got my, hey, my hey, Tim. slushy mix earlier on the stream. It came in the mail. All the good stuff. So I had to, like, stop and, and mute my, myself so I could go make a slushy. <laughs> <laughs> Looks good. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they don't. I hope they don't delay us that long. I'm gonna drop down in the basement. I'll be All back. Right. I gotta go start cooking. All, All right, right, Anthony. Okay. You can get back on. He didn't drop. <laughs> yeah, like Turk, you said it wasn't even in the house for five minutes, and I had to make a slushy. <laughs> I've been waiting for three days, you know. So is it blueberry or what flavor? Cola. Oh, cola. Yum. Yep. Where'd Gappa go? He's down in the basement. Hmm? Is he cleaning? <laughs> <laughs> I try to keep the basement fairly clean. <laughs> That's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. You're better than me. I don't keep mine clean. <laughs> oh gosh! Well, it's just a virtual basement, so it's easy. If it was a real one, it would be full of my crap. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I was laughing. I was talking to um, Midco, the our our cable supplier, mm -hmm. and, and our internet too. And, and they were talking to me about how you know how they could come out and do this whole home survey where they check your Wi-Fi in all the areas of your house and make sure you're getting good signal and stuff. And and they're like, yeah, they'll even go down in your basement and check it. And I was like, what's so funny? And I said, um, I live in my basement is like, you know, space is all under my house. He starts cracking up. He says, I don't think we need to check the Wi-Fi down there. <laughs> Like, no, I don't think so. Well, you know, I get to share space with the cutest little puppy you've ever seen. Well, right on. He is really cute. 
Oh, Cherokee, you're lucky. I went for about about three or four months where I couldn't drive, and it really sucked. It was at least that long. It was horrible. It was longer than that because I was in the nursing home for three months. So it must have been more like at least six months where I couldn't drive. Oh, I hated that. Having to be driven everywhere. And like driving Miss Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Not fun. <laughs> Roy. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I can't. Roy just asked put you in the baggage car. <laughs> oh. No. In the baggage car. <laughs> Roy, Roy, Roy. <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> So, anyway, I know if I do this, I just realized something. Oops, mm. go. And go like that, and I can pop back up, and I can have my spot back. There you go. <laughs> now it looks like it's live stream again. <laughs> Why don't you go ahead and pop him down so Donna can turn her? Oh, that's a good idea. Her mic on, or her picture. Yeah, Donna, you can turn your mic on if you want. So it doesn't go squeak. So how far, do you know how far outside of the Texas border you are, Nancy? Um, well, I think this is our, this is actually, I think our last stop in, in Texas. We're now going to be entering New Mexico, I think, next. Oh, okay. So. Yes, TikTok woman again. <laughs> Thanks, Roy. <laughs> so. Mm. Yeah, we're finally going to be getting out of Texas here. That's Fair a big on. state. <laughs> You're in it for a while. Yeah, Hello. I know. Hello, pumpkin. <laughs> yeah. Hello, kitty. She thinks Hello, she can walk all, all over me. So, Nancy, do they like have somebody that brings meals down to that car for you? or? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they have somebody that's in charge of this car and uh, she's been really good about bringing us our meals and things like that. Yeah, that's right nice. So, how is how's the food? It's pretty good, actually. It's pretty expensive, but it's pretty good. Do yeah. you have to pay according to what you get, or is it just per? Is it well? It depend. It depends on what you order. They have so uh, you order uh, what you want. Choices. No, they they give you a few choices. You have a few choices. And, you pick from those choices. They have a breakfast menu, a lunch menu, and a dinner menu, and you and you have to pick from just that one menu for the okay. day. Like 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 if it's lunchtime, you only can pick from the lunch menu, which has only like a few choices on it. So okay, I see. Yeah. And it's they always, do have a kids menu too. It's always been real good food when I've eaten on Amtrak. Yeah, I've never I been on a train. I usually take like snacks for that would be like for two meals. And then I eat one meal, you know, in their dining car or, you know, I'll take break, take it back to my seat and eat it. Kind of um, so just so I get like some real food. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's been really good food lately. So. Well, good. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have done it without help though. So I'm very thankful. Uh -uh. Yep. So, anyway. But, yeah. So. Donna, I've got Anthony in the basement, so you can turn your mic on if you want. All right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No, you can't do it. 
Guess not. You have to. Anthony needs to down. Needs to mute his mic and his picture. So. Yeah. Nancy Cherokee says he'll pass you on when he's heading home. Thank you very much. Who? Cherokee. Yeah. He says he'll pass you on his way home. Oh, okay. Where is he heading home from? I'm not sure. Okay, no. Well, he's heading home from the hospital, but I'm not sure where he's actually at. So. Well, I'm on the rails, so unless he's on the rails, um, he probably won't pass me, but... <laughs> So, anyway, oh. quit yawning. Yeah. Sorry. You're gonna start. Pumpkin, what are you doing? <laughs> oh. I haven't, I haven't slept much, and I'm very tired. I'm exhausted. We're so, sleep. I can't, <laughs> Donna. I bet you will by tonight. You'll, you'll hear <laughs> fall asleep anyway. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I, I think I'm just going to fall asleep by sheer exhaustion. I, I don't know. I, I had this problem on the way. Um, you know, I, yeah. It's hard to sleep. Sitting on a moving train. It's like you got the car going like this, you know, kind of moving like this, swaying oh, back and it, forth. I think it might rock me to sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it scares the dickens out of me. Really? But they say it's perfectly normal for the car to do that, so. Yeah. Anyway. I know my son slept, like, really good on the train, the best he ever had. That was the first time he'd ever slept all the way through the night. I actually... Right. Yeah. We're going down to the cafe lounge. What's wrong with him? <laughs> I'm going to get a copyright strike for whoever's got that on. <laughs> Gary, turn your TV off. I just, I had it on mute and I don't know, I must have accidentally hit. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to let you guys all go because it's starting, as you can hear, it's starting to get really noisy in here. So. <laughs> I'm going to check out. We'll see you Bye. guys later. Bye. Bye-bye, Bye. everyone. Bye. Okay. Um, he's going to sleep tonight. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, my first day on the train, I never sleep, but then the second day, I always do, so. Mm -hmm. Roy says, 879 miles across Texas on Interstate 10. Mm -hmm. It's a big state. Yeah, it is. Yeah, 24 hours to talk. Wow. It only took me and my best friend 10 hours to drive from western South Dakota to western Montana. I mean, we drove all the way across the state of Montana, and it only took us 10 hours. Yay. I didn't realize Texas was that big. <laughs> it's huge. Yep. It's huge. Oh, okay, Cherokee. I think Nancy's in El Paso. Yep. Yeah. You're in trouble, Pumpkin. She knocked my mug down behind. Now I'm going to have to try to dig it. It fell behind something oh, else. Because she's not getting attention. 
cats are assholes. <laughs> I know. And I was trying to give her attention earlier when I was out in the living room and wander on my lap. <laughs> but head. Mm. So what's Donna or what's Anthony cooking, Donna? Pork chops. Yeah. Oh, they pulling out our uh, our pot though. Yep. You're welcome, Nancy. Anytime. All right, Turkey. You better watch your minutes, Nancy. Yeah. <laughs> She's almost out of minutes until Ooh. 14. Yeah. yeah. I've been watching the weather reports for Seattle. And they're in a full-blown freaking panic over what's coming. I'm just, I'm kind of sitting back here laughing because what they're expecting, we get on a regular basis. So, <laughs> yeah. And Nancy left a warmer climate to go to a cold climate. <laughs> yeah. All right, Tim, that's, it was good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. That's funny. Yeah. Yep. I like, girl, you better not get sick when you go home. Yeah. That's what I'm worried about. Yep. Yeah. That cold weather is hard. And like, I have fibromyalgia, and it's like, it's so much better in the summer than yeah. in the winter. The winter, it flares up. Like, right now, it's flared up because it got colder. Yeah. Pumpkin. Right. Pumpkin. When a colder climate is harder on her lungs. Yeah. Um, yeah, and she's going back to unusually cold weather for Seattle. So yeah, because Seattle is not, doesn't usually get that cold. It, it wouldn't be so bad if she's going back to 50, 60 degrees. Yeah. But she's going back to sub freezing weather. Yeah. Yeah. And two digit and the one digit number. Yeah. 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 It doesn't usually get that cold in Seattle, does it? No, not at all. It doesn't usually snow in Seattle. I didn't think so. I lived out there for 16 years and can count on one hand the times we had snow more than a quarter of an inch. Yeah, like wow. us. We don't hardly ever get snow. One time we got like five inches of snow and it shut all of western Washington down for about four days. Well, they don't have the resources to take care of it. They, right. they literally, for all of Seattle, I think they have like five plows. Oh my God. <laughs> and I mean, I live, I live in a city where they have enough plows that they'll go down the, the road and the plows are staggered. So mm -hmm. they'll be pushing it and the next one will catch their cast off, and the next yeah. one will catch their cast off, and they go down the road and clean the road all at one time. Yeah. So well, Nancy, you listen to your doctor. It'd be nice if she could find somewhere there to live. Well, she can stay with me and Anthony, but our house is not fully accessible. Yeah. Yeah. That makes it more difficult, unfortunately. Yep. Well, Nancy, hopefully you can get things figured out in Louisiana quickly so that you don't have to be in Seattle too much longer. Yeah. Right. I hope so. And Julie's cat. <laughs> Little Miss Queenie. I'll be right back, guys. Okay. More ices? <laughs> Sludgies? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, we're all right. 
<clears throat> I forget where at do you live, Donna? You're in it. Okay. And how I, far south is that? Uh, three, three hours from uh, Shreveport. Okay. Yeah. And about four hours from New Orleans. Okay. Is that four hours north or south? North. North, okay. Well, Nancy, you just take care of yourself when you're back home. Yeah. Stay warm so you don't get sick or like a cold or anything. Joe. All right, Nancy. Oh, I like your shirt, Susan. That's cool. Thank you. I have a tattoo that matches it. <laughs> you must like that show. <laughs> Is that your favorite show? One of your favorites? Yep. Oh yeah. Um, what show was? Um, Hot Topic had a dress. I think, or no, not Hot Topic. Where was it? I saw a dress. Um, was it Hot Topic? They had a dress. It was like really cute. When somewhere I saw a really cute dress. It was like that. I have I a dress from Hot Topic that looks like the TARDIS. And that I also be it. a dress from Hot Topic that looks like the ninth, ninth or tenth doctor's outfit. I can't remember which one. But yeah, the one I'm thinking of looks like you know it's from the police box. Yeah. That's that's the one that I've I've got that dress and it, uh -oh. it is so and yeah it's it is absolutely comfortable in the summertime. Dang, that must be the one that I'm thinking of because it's really cute. Yep, it's kind of like a skater's dress, kind of. Yep. They call them. Yeah. Yeah, it's just it's made out of 100% cotton and it's really comfortable. Right, Roy. <laughs> Watch out, Chloe. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Mwah. Mwah. Aww. She's so cute. Oh, Hurry. she wants to cuddle with me. Watch out. Hurry. I need my spot back. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? Hurry. She's so cute. He's like, who in the heck is calling me? Chloe! <laughs> Her eyes are so pretty. Uh -huh. When I first saw the ad for her on Craigslist, she was in this crate that was, I mean, it was like four times too big for her. She was just this, she looked so tiny in it. Aww. And the only thing you could see was basically her coloring and her eyes. You could oh. see that she was kind of a reddish color and that she had these intense blue eyes. And I was just like, and she looked so sad. And oh. I was like, oh my God, I have to have that dog. <laughs> <laughs> she got a good home. My best friend actually sent me the ad and was like, check this dog out. <laughs> and like, oh my gosh. <laughs> and they brought her over and the, the people I, I talked to the lady on the phone and texted with her first and they agreed to drop the adoption fee of $25 if I promised them that I wouldn't take her to the pound yeah. and I'm like hey I adopt a dog and it is for life no matter what 
Mm -hmm. I will work through problems. I will deal with issues. I adopt a dog and it is forever. And they were like, okay, she's yours. And they brought her over that afternoon and happened to be on my birthday, which was pretty cool. Aww. Aww. And she was so scared. Oh my gosh. They left and she hid in the corner of the room for hours Aww. before she would come check me out. And, and as soon as she did, I just laid really still while she sniffed me and but as soon as she sniffed me all over, she jumped up and like cuddled up to me Aww. and hasn't left my side since. <laughs> <laughs> right? How long did it take her to before she came over and sniffed you? It was a good two hours. Wow. And I just, I ignored her the whole time. I didn't try to cope <laughs> with her. I didn't try to bribe her. I just let her be and she explored the house first and I kept an eye on her and made sure she didn't use the bathroom in the house. And um, I showed her, I just opened the door and, and called her so she could see that the door was open and that she could go outside. And, and I just waited for her to come to me. Yeah. I figured she would eventually. So. <laughs> And when, when Ken got home that night, oh my gosh, she went into full glow, full blown guard dog mode, barking. <laughs> and, uh, you know, <laughs> that's what my rat terrier did, yeah. and she's still protective of me. Yeah, yeah, she's fine. But if she thinks that I'm threatened, she will go into guard dog. Yeah, that's the way Marley is with Anthony. <laughs> yep. Good girl. Come here. Come here. Chloe. 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 He's like, what? I'm getting rubbed. <laughs> How long have you had Chloe? Mm -hmm. We got her um, July 17th, 2017. So two and a half years. Oh. And she was petrified of everything when we got her. She had spent basically her entire life living in a crate other than to go outside and go to the bathroom. That's oh, horrible. Wow. And Why so, do you and do they, that to dogs? Well, you know, they, she, they got her and then the, the lady of the couple got a job right after they got her. And they just put her in the crate while they were at work and then they didn't do any training with her and they found her to be a pain in the butt when they were home so they put her in the crate so she wouldn't get oh. in the crate and, and it just ended up being that she was in the crate all the time and when she wasn't in the crate she was going to get in trouble so mm. you know she had a pretty bad experience with people for the first you know yeah. year and nine months of her life and so Okay. That's horrible. But she is hundred percent better than she was when we got her. We've I've worked with her and she's just come such a long way that mine is staying their kennels, but they can go in and out whenever they want. Yeah. They know that's their safe place. Mm -hmm. Well, I just the way that the crate was abused with her. I just decided I was not even gonna think I about blame it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't have I I don't room for it really anyway. But I did not want to even think about putting her back in one, even with the door open. It just didn't seem right. like the right thing to do with her. So I don't blame you. I wouldn't have either. It might have done her bad instead of good. Yeah. Yeah. I might have scared her more than anything. So, and and if she needs a safe, quiet, small place to go, she can go to our room. And at the end of our bed on the floor, there's like blankets and stuff for the dogs. And it's really thick and comfortable. And with the light off and the enclosed space at the end of the bed, it's almost like a crate. 
Yeah. So if she wants that closed in a safe place, safe place, that's where she goes. Yeah. So <coughs> sometimes I look around and can't find her, and <coughs> that's where she is. So yeah. <laughs> But I'm finding her there less and less, the more confident she becomes. Yeah. So. <laughs> Mine's all right until somebody knocks at the door. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. That sets mine off like crazy. Mm-hmm. And you, then you can't hush her up. <laughs> well, I'm, mine are getting better. I've been really working with them. And. I, I use, I just, you know, they start barking and they'll start barking before people even knock on the door. I mean, I know I can hear. as soon as somebody drives up, I know somebody's coming to my house and they start barking and I send them to the couch and I tell them to hush and I go and I check out who's there and I'll, and I'll, I swear they understand when I tell them that Tanya is outside yeah. because as soon as I tell them it's okay, it's Tanya, they sit and wait for her to come in. <laughs> if it's anybody else, they they'll growl and like mm -hmm. bark under their breath and you know go <clears throat> you know like that. <laughs> right. And but if it's Tanya, they sit and wait patiently and you know. Just wait for yeah. her to come in and sit down, and then they go and jump on her. <laughs> right. That's so, how Marley done with Nancy. She learned not to bark at her. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. No, Nick, go away. <laughs> Nick Where's Nick? Live. He went live. Oh, I'm like, I haven't seen the chat moving forever. So I haven't either. I haven't either. And my StreamYard's chat is still frozen back at 2.47 p.m. Wow. <laughs> it's now 4.26 p.m. So Sometimes if you click on private chat and then go back to live, sometimes I've, that I've helps. I've done that several it times. It hasn't helped. It's just stuck. So. Yeah. StreamYard's is weird. The last one I got was from Nancy saying bye. That's what I have, too. Huh. Well, let me... Let me try it again. And that's why YouTube is too. So. Okay, oh. Travis. Okay, Travis. Oh, you have one from Travis? Yeah, yeah on YouTube. Not very much, Nate. Both his kids are sick. I yeah. don't have that. On YouTube. Hmm. Yeah, YouTube's been lagging a lot lately. I still have the one. My last one is from Nancy saying bye all. But all of a sudden it'll go. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting for mine to do that and hasn't done that. So mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. weird. Well, That's sorry. Right. Here. <laughs> that, that's how much it lags. Oh, I'm so used to my phone auto-correcting what I type. I've gotten really lazy. I and know. I type it StreamYards and it doesn't auto-correct. I'm like, how do you spell that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll capitalize for you and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and, and put in punctuation and all that. I've gotten really bad about that I over the years. Phone. It's like, wow. I know it. I'm the same way. It's like, oh, crap. <laughs> it's on a check private chat. Okay. Oh, now I see. <laughs> and even me typing in private chat wouldn't advance my regular chat. It is just stuck solid. I noticed that, Susan. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said the other day. Yeah. Little weird, isn't it? Yeah. Slightly. Come here. Come here. Maybe it's time travel. No. <laughs> Sorry. Just had to go there. 
<laughs> Perfect timing. Yep. Oh, that is so weird. Uh, it is. Jeez. Oh, I, I didn't notice it until you pointed it out. <laughs> Well, I had somebody else point it out to me, and then I started really paying attention, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's kind of strange. Right. And it would happen, like, right after each other, so. <laughs> you know I was supposed to go off, and I haven't seen him. Good girl. It's a good puppy. What's in my hand? Is there something in there? Up here. Way up here. Good girl. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hey. <laughs> you ready? It's a good puppy. Good girl. <laughs> That's a good and puppy. The day I taught her to shake, it took her five times of me picking her pop and shaking it and saying snake for her to figure out what I wanted her to do. Wow. And pawing at me every time I told Spike to shake because she wanted that <laughs> treat and she knew how to get it. <laughs> That's funny. Ready? Where's I, Spike? Where's I, I, would a treat. I would put a treat in one hand and I asked Martin, I went to one. Yep. I do that with my dogs too. <clears throat> yep. Where's Spikey at? Sleeping? Oh, Spike's over here behind Chloe just kind of laying down. <laughs> 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 I love some more treats. Their favorite treat is bacon. Uh oh, they found you. Nope, oh, Galpha dropped completely out of the basement. Oh, really? Yep. Uh oh. Well, I've got to go pretty soon because the Packers are playing. Oh, okay. All right. It's a playoff, so. <laughs> I don't, who are they playing? They are playing um, the Seahawks. Oh, I know. I'll have to turn that on. <laughs> so you'll be rooting for the Seahawks. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Eli, just come on. <laughs> oh, a half hour. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, but I think I'll probably end this in a little bit just so I can give Ken his haircut and catch Eli's stream. Yeah. Now they can be tired of smoking a cigarette and do what I gotta do. Yep. <laughs> now the game starts in 12 minutes. Uh, till kickoff. For the last hour, um, YouTube has said that I started streaming 109 minutes ago. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> that is I don't, know, stuck. I, I don't know why they put that like that. This says three hours, 30 minutes, and 13 seconds. Oh, streaming art, it says three hours and 33 minutes. Yeah. I've got three hours, 35 minutes, and one second. <laughs> wow. That's funny. Uh, oh, well. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up and go get my stuff done. All right. Well, I'm, I'm glad, glad I got to see out. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks it's for good coming to see up, you. Guys. Thanks, Thanks for having me. For good to out. see you, Donna and Nancy Bye. and Chloe. Bye, everybody. Bye, Bye guys. Bye, everybody in chat. Thank Good you luck in the me. game. <laughs> Bye. Go Seahawks. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Yep.